Oh, okay. No! No, don't come back on the track, you! Oh! Oh! Oh, and you just just do your thing in it. Mate, I try to avoid you. Da, 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 da. We are not a rookie. You keep biting my lips. I'm like, mm, mm, it's so dead. Into six. Into ah! uh, well, we're back. Oh. Into six left. Very long. Opens of a crest into two right long. One left, unseen. Oh, what do you mean? One left. 120. Flat crest into six right of a crest. Into five left, extra long. 30. Oh, no, 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 no,
Silverstone, we had a livery, which uh, Daniel did, and he's added as well the little logo on this livery. So I'm trying to, I need to download this and put it in liveries. I think I've already done that. But, mm mm mm. I still call that completion here. Custom liveries. Ah! Hold on. Aston Martin? Where is the Aston? Oh, I need to call it something. Oh, do I? I'm so confused right now. I do. Okay, let's call it... Uh, where is it gone? Oh! United Racing Charity! It's there already! Okay, let me see. Let me see if I've done that right. Ooh. Um. Let me get the, the chat back and the people back and everything. Let's see if we can do that. Hello, everyone. So we are back now on the main screen. We have the Aston Martin Vantage GT4. And I'm surprised Danny's still not ready. Is he still ready? Or have I muted him or something? That could be well... Now, he's muted himself. <clears throat> so, can we change the livery or can we not? Oh, no. No, I need to put the decal. Oh, last time I had the same issue, it just didn't work. I remember. I don't know if I'm doing... If I come back, I feel like I'm not doing the right thing here. Working out things on stream, huh? I did. If not, you know what, guys? I'll go with the yellow. I've, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure Dan will forgive me. Well, I'm hoping he will. Hey. Okay, so the server is not up. Now I can't even pick a car. This is great. Uh, okay, cool. So... Uh, yeah, I just need to do the little gal. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So I'm ready. I'm ready, guys. Woo! Okay, so we are ready. How is Dan doing? Hello? Are you ready, Dan? Are you ready to do this? I'm ready whenever you are, Taya. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you would come in and be like, hello, hello. But no, you no, 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 no. No, my luck, if I was to do that, I'd, I'd make you jump out of your skin. <laughs> yeah, probably. I jump, I jump when Jeff... Um, Jeff ke keeps surprising me in the kitchen and everywhere else in the flat. I should get used to the fact he lives with me. <laughs> oh, I've missed lots of the chat. Oh, Wizard Dan. So people just uh, hand Lotea, Wizard Dan, CCP Flat Spot, Billy Bain, Mike Williams. Hello, Mike. Hello, nice. Alexand Alexander. Alexander? Mm -hmm. Alexandre. Lauren. <laughs> Dominique. Silent. How long is the race tonight? There's four races silent, and they are 15 minute races, and there's 10 minute quali. Mm hmm. And um, no. you will be pleased to know that I've managed to um, to download the livery. Oh, you have, finally. <laughs> I have, yeah. So um, I did the same thing last time. I didn't put the decal, you know, the decal folder. I... Yeah. And I didn't have the um, essential on the Oh, okay. The <laughs> but it's, it's fine. It's worth no, this time. No, that's fair enough. I mean, we, you had difficulty last time anyway, because I, I already made a United Racing livery for the GT4 car, but you were still struggling at the time, wasn't you, to try and get that sorted out. But we did, eventually. So at least this one's worked much more smoothly, thank goodness, for this one-off event that we, um, we're doing this evening. 
And while I'm at it, uh, a very warm welcome and hello to every single person in Teo Musson's Discord chat. I hope that um, Discord chat, YouTube live stream chat. <laughs> There's that moment ruined. Sorry, Teo. Hello. Um, I hope that you're all doing very well today. And thank you for tuning in to Teo's stream for this uh, special event that we'll be doing. So. Dominic, you want me to stop talking? <laughs> Dominic is saying, can Dan, Dan talk more, please? I love the British accent. Really? Do <laughs> Dominic, I don't know how many British accents you've been listening to, but mine definitely isn't that good. <laughs> it's funny you say that, actually, because do you remember when I was testing with um, Andy the Lab when I was showing her around Laguna Seca for the MFR series? Yeah. No idea why, but she seemed to think that I have a lovely British accent as well. <laughs> Don't know what don't know why, but um yeah, she seemed to really like my voice for some reason. <laughs> You've got I don't know, you pronounced your word really well, so I guess you I, I wouldn't say you have a posh accent if there's such a thing, but it's uh Oh uh, no. Mine's the opposite of posh Tay. It's what you call a a poor peasant accent. <laughs> uh dear me. Oh. Um everybody's saying you can hear me on both streams and that's eco time. Uh, okay, so I still haven't got the server, so will, tell me, obviously, I know you're probably refreshing it, but if you, if you see it in front of, before me, or in front of me, but... Yeah, sure, no, it, it, it would help, I suppose, if I was to act on it and go into the sh uh, server itself, <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought I'd wait for you anyway, because we said about 10-2, didn't we, and then, um, was it Zlankin in my Discord chat, and uh, live stream chat, there I go again, um, said that you had a little bit of trouble with the um getting the livery done but at least you got it sorted now haven't you so yes yeah um the only thing i didn't get sorted is the uh uh the setup for each of the tracks so i've got spa as we discussed yeah. i think i've got laguna from you know the mfr yeah so i, I can probably use that and then what else there's kayalami kayalami we'd gone through it so we didn't really need one right yeah, we, we, well, we'd had a bit of a practice earlier on, but um, obviously, because it's, it, it obviously feels very different compared to yesterday, if you watched um, uh, the community race from either one of our live streams, but the GT4 cars do behave very differently compared to GT3. So earlier on, I was showing um, Taya how to drive round Kyle Army in GT4, and it feels very different, doesn't it, in comparison to um, to yesterday? Um, It does. I um I still feel fast though around Kailami. I really love that track. I don't I don't particularly feel fast around Spa. I think it's a real struggle. Uh, you do you do feel like the the car is losing grip earlier. Mm -hmm. You haven't got yeah you haven't got the same aero. aero. Oh God, can you say that with your British accent? I think the uh, people will enjoy more. The same though. aero. Oh. There you, go. <laughs> you got that people. Um, but yeah um. I don't know what I was gonna say. Yeah, we did practice a bit earlier. I don't. I don't know mm -hmm. if that was that useful. Um, Dan ended up doing some dancing with his Aston Martin, which is which is <laughs> which is uh, yeah. has slowed me down quite a fair bit. He asked me to wait for him so I could watch him dance. So. Oh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna, If she does badly around Spa Francorchamps, which is where I was doing a bit of show about in earlier on, it's probably gonna turn around and say, "Say it's my fault," <laughs> as usual, like you always do. <laughs> you guys know why I'd be slow around Spa now. I've got a good excuse. Well, it sounds like a pretty bad one to me if I say so. Must say so. <laughs> I'm drinking it from um, a little mug that's in a elephant shape. Yeah. In How an elephant you? shape. Yeah. I've, 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 I hope the liquid isn't pouring out of the trunk, literally. It isn't, no, but it's a little um, pocket so that you can put your tea bag. Ah, uh, okay. I get you. <laughs> I didn't say that Tia should talk less, but I love her British accents. I like your elephant cup. Thank you, Andre. I think Tia sounds way more British than five months ago. Oh, no. Do you know what? I listened to this, uh, str well, Australian streamer. She streamed The Sims. And she yeah. and when she say, for months, a girl, she goes, a girl. And I know it's like an Australian thing, but every time I'm saying a girl, I try to say it like her. So, an Australian accent, yeah. A girl. <laughs> I like it. I really like an Australian accent. Maybe it's a hint, Taya. Maybe you shouldn't, you know, 
move somewhere else in the UK. You should relocate to Australia instead. No, I You'd can't. You'd probably fit more right in, right in down under. <laughs> oh, the server is up, and um, I think I remember the password. Um, I can't because I'm too afraid of spiders, and yeah, they have Green a light. spider Green season again. then. Green light. Well, Give it all you can. Yeah. Oh, which which track is that? I didn't even check. Uh, it's Brands Hatch. Oh, we're starting with Brands Hatch. I think I have a yeah. setup. No, I think I should. Have. Uh, you should you should have anyway. If I remember from the community races, you should. Ooh, have. I do. Uh, I've got thirty minutes stint qualifying. I'm gonna put qualifying on. Mhm. Mm How much fuel do you have in yours? What for qualifying? Uh, yeah. good question. Hang on, let me find my fifteen minutes setup. You don't need that much to be honest. Uh, it, it takes a few laps for the tires to warm up, so about fifteen liters. Should be more than enough for qualifying. Nice. I had 16 liters, so 15 will do it. Accent yeah, can rub off. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Accent, accent can rub in if long enough. My buddy was from the USA for a year and he came back and he had Southern American accent. But Southern <laughs> isn't the Southern American accent really strong as well? It can be, yeah. It can be really strong if you are from the deep south. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I um, I I'm okay with my French accent. My French mm -hmm. Australian accent, actually. Hatch classic. Yeah, guys. Tonight we're doing uh we're doing brands that in no specific order because I can't mm. remember orders or things. But brands hatch, Kayalami, Spa, and Laguna Seca. So yeah. Do you know what? I'm really happy. Are you happy with the selection, Dan? Yeah, I am indeed, yeah. I mean, it's a pity, you know, whether it's because I'm being biased because of, you know, the event that we did a few months ago. It's a pity Silverstone isn't in there. But now I'm I'm more or less uh, happy with the selection that we have. I think it's going to be, uh, particularly from practice earlier on, it's going to be a real challenge to get these cars around Spa in particular. You know, because obviously in some sections of the track, it's going to be a real struggle compared to a GC3 car. So through... Uh, one particular section, which you had difficulty earlier on, was from Earl Rouge and then Radion as well, going up the hill. True. Oh, hold on, my sound. Oh, hang on. Are you going to go up? Uh, uh... Yeah, I, I'm, I'll follow you. Don't worry. I was going to wait until when you were ready. I'll go in front. Yeah, there I'm we are. just going to put the uh, the main sound a bit down because I think it's going to kill people's ears if I start driving now. Oh, okay. No worries. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to try and figure a way then of muting me down in case I kill someone else's ears. <laughs> Only joking. Right, uh, here we are then, folks, on the Grand Sack circuit. So Tay is making her way up the hill now towards Druids, where we are. So down to second gear. Oh, she was a bit hot going in. So... On the exit, flick it up to third gear. In fact, I'll, I'll wait for you, Taya, don't worry. This is how we practice, folks, for each um, each circuit, particularly when we train for MFR. So I would, it's a, we can't really do it now because we're in a public server, but I'd go around the circuit with Taya, um, just showing her what she can use as references, as braking markers around the track. So for example, if it's like a marker board or just something obscure obvious like a, a gap in the barrier for example or shadow on the track any minute detail really helps with trying to spot those breaking points um for around brand and then once we've done that once we've done a slow lap we then go around the track together taylor follows behind me like she's doing now and we both try and master the circuit together so and it's been very successful in the past um all the training with mfr because i mean you haven't just found temps, Tay. You found lots more time than that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, like a few, a, a couple of seconds. Yeah, I remember at Brands Hatch when we did the test, and it was three seconds you gained. Wow, I thought the one where I would gain more seconds would be Hongaroring or Nurburgring, somewhere where I didn't really like drive, I guess. Yeah. I, can't uh, I, I, I know about that all round, don't worry. The shadows move as the um, day evolves, changes. Oh, don't you worry. Sorry, all round, just posted in uh, the YouTube chat on my end about shadows, being careful with them. So, not to worry. I mean, particularly if it's a long race all round, the, um, you get used to that over time, mate. Um, oh. You'll be able to 
spot a break breaking point. What's the matter? <laughs> you guys saw that? Dan taking the poles, sending them off on my on my car. Attack number one from Dan. Oh. Write it down. <laughs> well, how was I supposed to know that was going to fly in your direction? <laughs> They're just a nuisance in the way. I was trying to clear up the track for you. It's basic That's physic. You should know that. Basic physics, yeah, oh, you know yeah, about yeah. cars, so you should know about poles. Well, considering I hit the bollards, I think it was the left side of my car. It should have flung left, not behind me. <laughs> uh, dear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I should look where I'm going. Sorry, I'm reading, reading my chat, my end. <laughs> So, going through Sterling's now, is Taya. So, we make our run to the last corner underneath the bridge, Clark Curve. So, brakes for the one board, going to fourth gear. And then gently back on the power. You can run it a little bit wide on exit and then cut back uh, by the pit wall. Uh, nice shallow line across the start finish line. Well, I mean, to down to Kill Ben, so difficult to get that right. Take the long, wrong line going through, you can understeer off into the gravel. Oh, everything alright, your end here? Yeah, I'm just trying to focus and then um, also trying to remember. Oh, I'm breaking too early. I'm just, I'm literally in a, in a chilled mood today. I told you, I'm really struggling to like push myself. Yeah. Well, like I say, this is all for fun anyway, for a, a good course, so the pressure can be off, for sure. I, I'm determined anyway, it's going to be more relaxed, chill stream for everyone involved, whether it be for us racing or for new folks watching at home. True. Um, but uh, what lap time, what's your best lap time here? That I give myself some type of objective. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. I think my best lap time was setting MFR practice, which was a 130.9, I think. Okay. So 135 is... Um... <clears throat> Come on, man up here. It's all right. Like I say, don't compare, my, compare yourself to me, Taylor. Just always focus and concentrate on yourself, first and foremost. I mean, I, I've learned that the hard way, to be honest. That's that's one of the re one of many reasons why I gave up sim racing in the first place because I kept comparing myself with others, and it, it just made me feel worse as a result. So don't go that down that road. Whatever you do, so just always just focus and concentrate on your own skills and improve over time. Yeah, true. And tonight, like you said, is for a good cause. So guys, if you're feeling generous, there is a donation link in the description. I believe um, Mooney GT already has reached his uh, target. But you know what? Let's explode that target. Let's go and mm -hmm. give some... And actually, Dan, do you want to explain the viewers as well? Well, your viewers, my viewers, our viewers. Um, that you... Did you win something earlier? I might have done. <laughs> A little earlier on, to my surprise, um, I went into the live stream earlier on just to see how progression was going, um, to see how much uh, money was being raised, and congratulating Mini GT on what was it, four thousand two hundred dollars he reached at that point, and he turned around and said to me, "Oh, congratulations as well! You won a key uh, for the DTM DLC pack for Race Room." So that that was that was pretty darn cool, to be honest. There you go. <laughs> So, yeah, so basically, if you were making donation, you could uh, win some uh, some prizes. And there was a few, well, a key, so apparently you, you were gaining, what was it, earning tracks or cars from race room yeah. with these keys. Uh, so I don't know what you get, what you had, if it's tracks or cars. Uh, it I guess cars, I had to oh. it was the um, 2020 GTM pack. Nice. Uh, that was oh oh you lost, did... oh okay have you lost connection as well yeah I think he must he must have restarted or something yeah it must be a server restart cool <laughs> I'm gonna quit that's kind of your short master <laughs>
as if as if he's put as if Taya's a beginner driver. She's incredible. I couldn't agree more, mate. Aww. Thank you, Shortmaster, for that. That's absolutely awesome. Huh? Uh, hold on. I am I missing anything? You guys should put a hello a hello on your car. Anyone know if Elliot is taking part? Uh, Elliot was in the chat earlier. Um. Yeah. I. I won't, I wasn't sure about that to be honest. I thought it was just going to be you and I taking part, but I didn't realize that Elliot was as well. Oh, is Maybe. is he? I, d I don't know because basically, uh, well, the way it happened is that Muni GT approached me and he said he wanted a YouTuber to to try and spread the word. So obviously, um, I know Dan was a YouTuber, so I asked uh, if Dan wanted to to join. And mm -hmm. um, but at the time, I did not know that Elliot was a YouTuber. I only found out a few, like yeah, not long ago that uh, Elliot was a. Uh, Streaming, yeah, oh, hey. certainly is. Um, his his uh, his channel name, in case you don't know, Elliot's is uh, Curse of the Enthusiast. So, if you haven't already, do subscribe to Elliot's channel. He's he's recently started. Um, uh, he's not been in our community that long, has he, Elliot? Um, but he's he, he's a really nice guy, and he gets on really well with all of us and uh, with Taya as well. Mm -hmm. He talks about so, uh, sausage conspiracy as well on his stream, so you guys <laughs> should definitely tune in for that. So it's some sort. No, no bad pun intended, but it just sounds like a bunch of salami to me. I <laughs> know <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. It's it's all right. You know what? You could go on to his stream and you'd just fit right in. Quite literally, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know what's going on with the server, to be honest. No, I doubt you, but unless it's just like a, a quick reset. Good, Silent is joining now. Sausage mm -hmm. Fest yesterday. You all know what I live with now. Oh, Lauren. Poor Lauren. Actually, you know what? Lauren is, is good and entertaining. What, what does Jeff do to me? What was I telling you earlier? No, Je Jeff... Um... Yeah, no, no, Je Jeff is, um, many sausage swallowed a whole. Jeff whole is not one, that hard to so. live with. Many sausages yeah. swallowed whole. That's, I don't know what that, for me, KLM is cursed. So Tell if me? it was a large sausage, bloody hell, that, 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 that sounds astonishing. I was thinking more sort of like chipolata size. Saucisson. Mm -hmm. Saucisson would probably kill you. Oh my, this is getting weird. Uh, <laughs> and just. <laughs> all right, it's not getting weird at all. We, I was enjoying this Brands Hatch uh, going around. I'm a bit like, uh, what is, uh, what is going down? <laughs> nothing's, nothing's weird, Aurel, as long as you keep it right in your mind. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Chipolatas, you're being modest now. <laughs> you kind of miss Brent. Indeed, Brent. <laughs> We didn't. Right. Sorry, go on, Taya. No, we. Uh, Lauren said she was missing Brent's Hatch, but we kind of we didn't really get to race at Brent's Hatch. It was more of um, a friendly. I guess that's why I still like Brent's Hatch. It was a friendly atmosphere. It was everyone was at, yeah. with everyone racing. Mm -hmm. It was quite a lot of cars on track. There was the really fast people and then the slower people. My mind would be the problem indeed. Oh, Aurel. Well, then I, I can't help you with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, why did I hit the refresh button? Start again. If the server was back up. Oh, there it is. Yeah, right. it is. Server's back up. Yeah. Nice. So let's join in, Miss Book. <sighs> and I could show you around Brand's Hatch again. Even though apparently we're meant to be rivals in this. Apparently. <laughs> we are. We're we are. We, we can have a sort of inter-team rivalry, if you like, since we're both turning up in the uh, special one-off uh, United Racing livery this evening with the um, Al Alex's Lemonade stand logo on the side. So, supporting a great cause. We should have taken a picture before. Uh, too, too bad Bathos isn't on the menu. Oh. Oh, yeah, that would, that would have been quite something, wouldn't it? Oh, someone just did the um, spitting into the pit lane. Already, Oops. yeah, yeah. I was just checking to see if that wasn't you with your exploits earlier at Spa. <laughs> my my exploit. You were the one starting it. Hold on. Oh, that's it. That, that, that's it. Black. Well, okay. To be fair, to be fair, I I was the first one to get disqualified and get chucked back to the pit lane. Oh, it's qualifying already. 
<laughs> I just realized. Let's do this. Thank you, Lauren. Yeah, I saw. I wondered if you saw the picture earlier on that I posted in Tony World chat on uh, Discord. So I, I, I shared a picture earlier on on, um, on Discord of our United Racing livery. Uh, short master asked, wondered if I, we'd be racing in the car. So, so I wonder if it was that that you spotted, Lauren, or it's what you're seeing on our live streams right there. <gasps> oh, that was close. See? Ah, uh, but unlike you, I, I applied enough brakes and stopped. <laughs> car on the left. I didn't turn left. this into bumper cars. Look, look, guys, he's right in front of me, so you can see he's put the logo on the side here and at the back. Yeah, God. Sorry, I just lifted off so you can show your viewers a lot better. The, uh, the <laughs> Maybe video. warn me next time you lift up. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, so earlier, uh, Dan decided he was going to go back to the garage, but he didn't actually warn me that he was going to go in the next second. So then he decided to almost stop in front of me. So uh, I think it's good to keep the communication uh, flowing with um, whatever you intend to do. But you don't need to report on all your overtakes when uh, when you leave me at the back um, later on. That's not what I mean. <laughs> no, I'm sure that will be the case. It'll, it'll just be fun anyway. That's why I'm you know, just showing you around the track, you know, helping you to qualify for this. Uh, thank you, Shortmaster. We'll try our best. Like I say, there's no pressure on us uh, tonight, folks. This is just all going to be nice and relaxed and chilled and all for a good cause for Alex's Lemonade Stand, something that um, Mooney GT has organised to help try and raise as much money as possible for uh, the Child's Cancer Charity. So we'll try and get vital funds to go into research. So. Why not enjoy the moment, eh? <laughs> Thank you, Aurel. He says it's really nice to have the both of us co-hosting together. Yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to do this for a change, because I think the last time we, um, we was in a live stream together was uh, back in the charity race, back in June. I think it was. Lies, I came on your stream the other day. What? Okay, and that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I mean working um, collaboratively together. Oh. If you know what I mean. True. You, you, were, just a, you were a guest on oh, uh, my live stream the other week. Staying yeah. you, Aston yeah. Martin. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is nice to be able to do this, to be honest, all around. We've, um, with Taya, despite you know what goes on in the background, all the bickering and arguing, the blaming and the punting and the shouting and the screaming and, <laughs> and everything else you can think of. No need to specify that all this comes from Dan. <laughs> you guys watch my stream, you know I'm the calmest person. Likewise, you know, if you watch my streams, you know the kind of personality I am. You know, the fact that I'm kind and calm and welcoming and making sure that I'm supportive of everyone and in comes Taya to twist everything around and tell fibs. <laughs> so this is this is secretly what I have to put up with in testing when we train together. <laughs> and then of course the nightmares of having my safety rating being affected in the game. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try not to pay too much attention to the the Delta on fire. Yeah. On fire! <laughs> nah, don't, don't take that seriously, folks. We was all kidding. We, we get on much better than that, don't we, don't we tell you? Be honest this time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. If you watch my stream, don't get offended. Taylor is silent right now. She's oh. concentrating hard. <laughs> no! I messed up in that corner. What, in uh, Sterling's? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it can be a bit tricky to get that one right. 
it's, it's, it's cambered as well, so it could easily throw the car in either direction. What was that, Aurel? <laughs> Taylor's got more safety rating than me, I know. That's what's sad about it. You know, I do my best to have clean races, and then in comes Taylor, knocking my safety rating down. Yeah, but you... <laughs> Do you guys only drive on my server with um cuz I drive with a lot with the AI. I think uh oh the AI yeah that those those can be terrible. Sometimes. I mean I only sent one person off yesterday on my AI race. So So no I'm not sure why my SA is so high at the moment. Well, if it's any consolation, my safety rating's been affected a lot because of the AI in um, in ACC. Oh, after the sorry, one. No, no, Tommy. How? Okay, so I'll say after the charity race we did, it was as high as 96, I think it was, but then it just dropped down to below 80, all because of the AI. Um, literally smashing into you, turning in, and. Because I, I, I remember in the Discord, um, Taya, that we had a little discussion about what the best approach is to play ACC and how to build up safety rating. A lot of people were saying to do that in single player. Well, initially to start with, that's the only choice you got. But later on, people would suggest to still do it with um, with the AI. But that's not been the case, to be honest. I mean, a lot of my ratings have been affected massively but because of the AI including safety so uh, I seem I seem to have picked up all of my uh, safety rating in uh, online multiplayer I'm sorry then I, I have to focus a, a little bit <laughs> okay <laughs> I know this is like easy peasy pace for you I thought you could multitask anyway, drive and talk. Nah, <laughs> ask uh, ask Jeff if I can multitask. <laughs> oh hey Dominic as well. Oh you've got both of us on live stream now have you? Nice. Thanks man for doing that. So if, if you're able to as well guys, please be sure to either in in my live stream um, a video description or in Tayers, there's a link to Muni GT's YouTube channel and live stream of um, of the charity event that he's doing the 12-hour uh, live stream. So please be sure to go and give him a support, um, folks, while you're at it as well. Ah, a bit wide. <laughs> What's the gap to the top? What's the best time? Oh, it's only 1:33. That's all right. Uh, what time has Taya done this time? Nice, 33. Brilliant. So she's currently in, in uh, second position. Yeah. Nice. Right, I'm going to... No, in fact, I'll start behind you. Why not? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Then we're going to have an incident on T1 and uh, that will be it. Oh. And then it will be my fault again. <laughs> Nah, she wouldn't forgive me for that, Mario. She said you should, I should, I should go behind you and push you. Oh, I'm in third position. I'm in fifth. I'm two places behind for now. Go smash it, okay? I'll try. I'll see what I can do in the last few corners. It's not going to be a PB, but oh well. We'll see how far it levitates me. No! <gasps> she kept it on track! How did I lose 0.6? Was that through the... Um, uh, what was it? What Those was it the two turns you have to cut. I swear I lost it, I think. Oh yeah, that's oh, because okay. I came out yeah, white. Is. Boom! Oh, With a last gasp effort in qualifying. There we go, folks. P1, P1. 
I'm, I'm happy with before. Uh, good effort, Taya. There's uh, 22 people, uh, 22 peeps in the server, which is oh, quite. One yeah. of which is Slankin, I think. <gasps> Slankin! Yeah, it's in 22nd. Yeah. Uh, really? Is Z Slankin? Is it definitely Slankin? I, th I think it is Slankin. He he loves Ginetta's, so it must be yeah, Slankin. He... Yeah. So it's nice to see uh, Slankin in here as well. Uh, server's back. Yeah, you did say that. Cool. I am. You are? Hold on, Andre as well. Oh, and Andre. Good. Oh, and apparently Chili and Erud are as well. Wow. wow. Is it? Good going, guys. Written... We'll have to just go back to the pit lane and just take a quick look. I'm returning so to guys. Yeah, we've got Chili Dog in sixth. Nice. Thanks, guys, for joining. Yeah, absolutely brilliant, guys. Thank you. Uh, Erud in 12th. Andre in 16th. And Slankin is 22nd last time I looked. So, yeah. It's brilliant to see some of the um, Tayamu Song community in the in the race itself. So, thank you, guys, for doing that. Mm. How much how much fuel am I putting in this car? How much fuel? Uh, good question. Let me just load this up again. You need 24 litres. Oof. Small race. I put 25. For the 15 minutes, yeah. I put 25 because earlier you had like you told me 25 and then I somehow ran out before you. I was gonna you can you can join the next one probably or I I don't know if um, originally you told me you wanted a YouTuber but um, I guess uh, if not enough people have turned up there's definitely space for everyone so yeah absolutely. So the more of you guys we can have here racing and supporting yeah. Mini GT the better. Yeah, of course. Well, um, if there's space on the next one, you guys can come in definitely. Mm -hmm. I did. I did say. I did say to uh, Mooney that uh, my community would be really happy to participate. And at the yeah. time, he said, "Hold on, just tell YouTubers first, and then if there's any spot, they can join on the day." So mm -hmm. yeah, feel free, guys, to uh, to join. Um, he's obviously he's also streaming now. So if you want to go, guys, go go say hello to him. I don't know which car he is in, by the way. Um, him, the link are in the description, the donation link, and also the um, the p p p his stream link. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. All in, uh, in, in our video description, so please be sure to go and say hello to Mooney GT. Give him your love and support. So here we are then, folks, for the first race of the evening. 15 minutes around Brands Hatch. So currently sitting on pole position, myself with Taya Roussant in fourth. Uh, we'll try and see if we can make it a United 1-2, Taya. No pressure. <laughs> no, only kidding. It's all for fun. So here we are then, folks. Any moment now, the first race of the evening will be... Will be... Go, go, go. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Oh, sorry, I didn't... I cut that car a bit. That's all right. Don't say that's all right. Still in uh, fourth position, I see. So that's a good start from Taya. So heading down now to Surtees, this horrible corner for the first time. Make it nice and wide, and then cut back in on the inside of the corner. That wasn't wide for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully not too wide. Oh, thank you, Shortmaster. Apparently, Mooney said that you and I are really fast. Oh, well, that was a bit too much of a cut through the Hawthorns. Oh, sorry, Westfield, that corner was. <laughs> I literally just remembered the corner names in my head. Exactly, Aurel. Two different conflicting lines through there. <laughs> there we go, then, folks. That's the end of that one, and we're currently in first place. And Taylor Musant doing well in fourth. Oops. 
kick about the steer. Oh my god! What what happened? Oh nice! Uh, you went your way up to third. Brilliant. Uh yeah, but I think I might have a battle or two with him. We never know. If you, if you wanted if you wanted me to, I could play a bit of dirty taxi. Um, <gasps> oh! What are you talking about? Second. <laughs> Nah, I won't do that. Ah! Oh. Yep, just got a warning for track limits. Ah, oh, okay. Right, so that's the end of lap two, folks. Cross the start finish line, and we're in the lead by about four seconds. Tamer's starting doing brilliantly at the moment, working our way up to third place. Oh! S -s -s not smashing the first turn. Ooh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Coming for me, Chili Dog! Those Chili Dogs hunting you down. Now come on, be nice, chili dog. Nah, he, he, want, he wants to kill me after I overtook him at Mizano, I think. Was it Mizano? Uh, yeah, it was Mizano, yeah. Uh, oh dear. Looks like we're, we're having United Racing Civil Rivalry here. Yeah, he's on my butt now. Alright, just always focus no. on the road ahead of the tail. Don't focus too much on the rear view mirror. It's like looking at the lap delta at the top corner. Don't get distracted. <laughs> if you can. Oh, you would definitely get distracted if you had Trinidad Dog behind you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> certainly would. Mind you, it depends if he's racing with an awful livery on the Aston, that'll easily distract you. <laughs> Especially that uh, chequered one he had the other week. <sighs> Why ruin a pretty car? Oh, he's overtaking me. Oh, no. Go on, Taya. Get him. Get him. I think Bronze Hatch is his favourite track though. It's definitely not mine. Don't, don't let that put you off. <laughs> I won't say it's a walk in the park, silent, shock. He's saying it's a walk in the park for me at the moment. It is a walk in the park. Your mind's ahead oh. from. I can see number two. <laughs> Ahead of me. Nice. <laughs> you might be catching up the bark marker though in a second, because the guy behind me is 3.3 .3 second ahead, uh, behind me. Oh, okay. Well, the uh, the first of the bat markers is just under 40 seconds ahead. Ooh, chili run wide here. Woo! Oh, chili dogs made a mistake, and Tamu Santos claimed third position back. Nice. Oh, he's back, and I think he's um, flashing me already. Oh my god. Eight oh, minutes left. Tactics with the flashing. <laughs> well, it is a bit, of, a bit of a big gap, silent shock, but you can't be too complacent. It could just be one mistake and... That'll be race over and done with.
Like we've got just over eight minutes to go. Oh! Go on, Tay, you can do it. No, I just made a mistake on that stupid turn I hate. Oh. I'm gonna take his sli slipstream though. Oh, he's got so much ping! Literally, that much ping. 145! That's a lot, no? What's a lot higher than you would have thought oh. think of, shitty dog? I think it's because uh, the server might be in, uh, in America. Yeah, that that's explained it. Yeah, I remember the... Um, was it the server that Brett created the other day? And that produced a lot of high ping as well. Because that server was in California, I think. Brett said. <laughs> oh, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's about what. Ah! Oh, you distracted me there, running wide through Paddock Hill Bend. <laughs> uh, I'll try not to push too hard, silent shock, don't you worry. Too much stress at all on myself as we hurl our way through Brant Hatch. <laughs> so it'd still be a good result for you, Tay, if you get fourth. I guess, yeah. This is just race one and I'm already tired. <laughs> Do you know, I wasn't really thinking that in my mind to be honest about tiredness or anything. I was thinking how quiet and serious you've both taken. <laughs> <laughs> this is meant to be a fun race and here we are, not saying much. Tell that to Chile, is the one coming to race my P3? To race to ruin my P3? True. <laughs> Oh, so he said he would stop racing, and he hasn't stopped racing since uh, the other day. Yeah, I remember you... He misled me. He would quit sim racing after you beat him at Mizano. And now he's coming to really... Uh, no, sorry. I can't remember the word. Uh, do you know why I'm going for a PB instead? Yeah, go, go for that target instead, Taya. I just did a 133, so that's... Oh, that'd be a nice. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I'm lying. Mm. <laughs> I was know. gonna do it. <laughs> you never know, you might get there. You might you, you might catch up to Chili Dog, put pressure on him, and he makes a mistake. Oh, the car behind me is catching up as well. Okay, hold on. I need a... I need to step up my game! That's not stepping up your game, dear. That's like being super slow. <laughs> well, I should imagine knowing um, Silent shot, Shock in the chat right now, it, it, I think it'd be more appropriate for me if I was just racing in the deck chair, not, um, not a bucket seat. <laughs> oh, I just had to lift off a bit of understeer for the bottom part of... Had a kill bend. So, just under four minutes left, folks. <laughs> so, no pressure on my shoulders, then, short master. He said, he said to me. If I ever think of quitting sim racing, they're all going to give me hell. <laughs> so, what, so what, Shortmaster? Am I literally locked in shackles? I'm not allowed to leave at any time. <laughs> I 
bet Tay would love that a lot, actually. <laughs> to what? be all chained up and then forced to, you know, do sim racing out of my out my free will. <laughs> you make me sound like the devil. A little bit. Oh! <laughs> Hold on. I need to focus, I need to focus, I'm losing, I'm losing time. I'm losing so oh, much time. Tia, 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 tia. Tia, 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 tia. Oh, thank you very much to that markers. Just let me do it. Thank you, dude. All right, I'll, I'll let you focus now, but good luck to you. No! Don't leave me alone! He's left me alone! Dan! Dan, come back now! <laughs> okay, I think I'm far enough from uh, the guy behind, but I'm too far away from... from Mr. Chili Dog. What's the gap between you and Chili Dog? He's got four seconds on me now. What? Well, oh, okay. Yeah. He's, I've made quite a few mistakes. Don't worry, there's always the next race to get Chili Dog. Don't you worry. Here we go then, folks, for my final tour of um, Brands Hatch in this first race. Normally, I just imagine it's you, the leader, but here, I can hear it. <laughs> you just said, oh, final lap, and then here, I, oh, okay, I'm gonna, 1.4, the guy behind, how does he just vary so much? No idea, to be honest. <laughs> Let's try and see if I can set a new PB on this last lap then. Let Taylor concentrate. Technically cheated that time. <laughs> technically. How can you cheat the time? So I cut one of the corners a bit too fine. Got a track warning. Position. I'm happy with that. There's a Mr. Cheese in here. Uh, I, thought, I thought I'd wait until you cross the line before saying anything to be honest, but well done to you for P4 in this first race. Hi, I'm sweaty. Ah, <laughs> thanks for keeping me company. That's all right. You're well, very welcome. Oh, Eric is there. Uh, yeah, I find it really funny because um, it says, you said, oh, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going on my last lap. And then you've got the ACC that says the leader is on his final lap. Final lap. <laughs> it's all right. I've got, I've got, I've got Dan oh, telling dear. me before it doesn't even happen. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Shortmaster, Erud before. and Lauren as well. That was a bad first race, was it? It was a good race. A good first race. And don't forget, this is all for charity. I don't know how you can forget because I put a big banner on top of the screen. We're helping to, to raise funds for Alex Lemonade in support of the 
pediatric cancer research. So make sure you go and donate a few yeah. pounds, a pound. Good race. Do it for charity. <laughs> you can skip the podium ceremony, get you the shower and boost quicker. Matt, 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 I will only agree with sight. I lost connection in the last <laughs> turn. Oh no! What position were you on? Oh. So. I think we're. Just checking the results quickly. So, of the Tay Muson community, Slankin was in 20th, Andre in 16th, uh, Erud, 7th place. Oh. oh. And Too late. Chili dog third with the tail four. I um I had biscuits before the stream, but thank you. Hey, did you take my tea away, baby? Oh. Oh. No more tea. Oh, but I why? Uh, thank thank you, Aurel and Silent Good Shock day. as well. What a bad first race was it around um Brantach? A little taster, but the fun that's going to happen this evening. Although, I'll, <laughs> yes, I'll say fun, but I bet in your end, Tay, you were super serious. <laughs> it was quiet. I know I know you were joking about it uh, earlier when I wasn't talking. You were like, I imagine Tay is right now clinching her teeth and just like focusing. Well, that's exactly what it was. And uh, Zlankin, the server, is in America, I believe, so... Again, yeah. oh, baby... Oh, Jeff, Jeff is covering me with food on the side here. He wants me fat. <laughs> Mm. Uh, dear me. I'm having a little bit of a water. Hold on. Refreshment. Yeah, that's okay. Now, I could do with a little bit of a refreshing drink as well. Oh, that was quick. The server's back up, Tay, and we're racing around Kyle Army. Mm. Um, Shortmaster, we're back on your patch now, mate. We're going to be racing around the Kyle Army circuit for the second time in two days. So... Mm. Aggressive. Wow. Oof, that car sounded serious. Wow, 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 wow. It sounded like a like a, a bit like Molly when she meow in the background. Wow. <laughs> Aggressive. Like Molly. Um, well, that wasn't a very good impression of Molly, if I may say so. Do you want to? <laughs> please do your best impression of Molly. No, I won't. I wouldn't, because let's be honest, my impressions aren't that perfect, to be honest. <laughs> can I believe... Can I believe how fast I was? I, I was alright, uh, Arid, because I trained a lot for MFR with the uh, Dyn around there. I don't think I'll be that great around this track, we'll see. Frozen biscuit. Oh no, baby, yeah. seriously, how much food do you want me to eat? I've got a pack of crisps, some... some uh... Oh. I will show you afterwards what... Jeff has literally just spread so much food on the floor. Um, oh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna put 15 liters or uh, 15 liters now or 17. Yeah, and then uh, let's go. Okay, so let me know when you're ready, and we'll go out in the circuit again for race two. <laughs> oh no! Apparently, uh, Slankin got disconnected on the final turn of the last lap. Yeah, I saw. Sorry, Slankin, uh, to hear that. Yeah, yeah, really sorry about that, Slankin, mate. Right, I'm behind the Ginetta, that's um... Hopefully it won't happen here. Player. You're behind the Ginetta? Oh, yes, behind me. So I'll let the Ginetta pass and then I'll be on my way. Oh! Mr. Webb. He was in second position, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, Dan! Okay, Mr. Tay, Mr. Webb is... Around Kaya, um, it's not my first time here, but yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, but come on, it takes a few laps, doesn't it, to gel back in properly. I know it does with me, even though we've raced around all these tracks several times before. And it pays off, anyway. No, I mean, particularly yesterday, you was, you were struggling to get into a rhythm in qualifying, and then when you followed me around for a couple of laps, it did the trick. Yeah. Put me in the mood. Absolutely. No punting involved either, which is a bonus. <laughs> Only kidding. Yep. That's right, the Janetta was weaving in front of me, Webb. Yeah, I don't know if he's uh, just 
warming up his brakes because he was dancing as well in front of me earlier. I was he? Uh, right, okay. Brake, uh, not brake, but tires or I don't know, something. Do you know what? I really like this big long straight line in um, the GT3 because you can go, you can hug the um, the curb when you go down yeah. hill. But here it's it's like the car doesn't want to go and touch the curb. No, it's um, it's not as it's not as responsive as a GT3 car. These uh, GT4s, so they take quite a bit of effort to get through some of the corners. I mean. On the exit for turn 11, for example, when you go when the track goes downhill, and then you've got that long turn 12, which you can hog the inside and take nice and flat as well. So with this, you have to make a bit more physical effort to turn the car in. Okay, we've got a bit of a traffic jam here, Taya. So... Uh, <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa! Erud! Oh well, that was Erud. Oh. I think Eric was coming out the pit lane as well. That's not good. Especially when you're on the out lap, hey, rude. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> yeah, she'll try her best, Mario. Don't you worry. She says, pu he says push, Taya. So. <laughs> so, heading down to turn seven. So, this will be taken in third gear in a GT4 car. So flipping to fourth, and then dab a break for turns eight and nine for this left-right slalom. Oh, Mercedes almost losing it. In oh my God! Right, good. Come on, these bit. people are slowing us down. They are. They are. Don't worry. Just follow me. Follow the leader. We'll find our way through. <laughs> For, follow me. We'll see the light. <laughs> well, eventually. <laughs> We'll get you there, don't you worry. Do you know, in fact, I think I have a better idea, I think. Right, pull over to the right here, Tay, and we'll stop, slow down for a few seconds, because we've got a bit of a gap to a route behind us. Yeah. So... When once now? We, once, no, no, not yet. I'll let you know when. Once we've got a bit of a gap, we'll put our foot back down, and we'll try for qualifying. Ready? Yeah. Go, go, go. Let's go and kick some butt. So coming out the final corner now. Running a bit wide over the curbs onto the start finish straight. So flicking up through the gears now. So into fifth we'll be taking turn one absolutely flat. This right hand kink. So on the right hand side we'll spot the hundred board. So we'll brake nice and hard. Down into second gear, take a wide line and then cut back inside. Then turns three and four, absolutely flat. Take it. Take a wide entry for turn five. So a small bit of braking. Cut back on the inside and then run it a little bit wide over the exit curve. Nice. Nice. So, nice. That one came from the heart. <laughs> so turn six, take it in fourth gear. It's hard to find the points where to go back from the accelerator, so. Just after the 50 board, break down to third for turn seven. And then staying fourth, spot the curb on the right, little bit of dab of brake, and then favorite through eight and nine, the left right sequence. Back on the accelerator nice and hard, and up the hill through the blind, turn 10. Hard spot, spot the braking points, and then bet here roughly. Down yeah, I always break a bit early here. That's okay, don't worry. So flick it into fourth, fifth gear as we take it absolutely flat through turn 12. Spot the 100 board, again tie it. Oh, the car started to get a bit squirrely under brake in the rear end, so I couldn't quite get the nosing through turn 13. So turn 15 is a difficult one to get right. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, ah. Uh! Was it one of the slower cars? Yeah. Oh. He's got a blue flag and he just came back on the line. Oh, bugger. God damn it. Not worry, we can try again. 
And now I've got I know, literally Arid, seriously. It's Arid! Seriously, mate. No, no, but he came back. That's that's not. Come on. I don't on. get that. He and then he went straight onto the. Oh no, that was a different different car. It's all right. I thought he went straight onto the grass afterwards. Sorry, he's directly behind you. Oh, Ray Rude. Yeah, yeah, but he came. He rejoined track, so he came out track and rejoined on. Um, and kind of like bump into me. So he dive bomb and then. Yeah, it's done. It's a bit bad on their part, to be honest. So I'll, I'll I'll try and help you for this last lap, and if we can't improve, then huh? I'll leave. Huh? Do, do you want me to go off on my lap in a minute, or...? Oh, but I mean... You, do whatever you want, uh, D Dan. If you want to go faster, go faster. I go for it. Mind. No, no, because yeah. you're going to have to overtake everyone, so it might be easier for you at the front. <laughs> I look like a rally co-driver. How so, Mario? <laughs> so, I don't recall the... Uh... The cow driver doing the notes and driving the car at the same time. <laughs> so I don't mind. Tell you, it's up to you. Do you want me to go for it or do you want me to stick with no, it? No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Do your do your okay. fast lap so you can have your whatever you're worth. Good luck. Thank you, Tayo. Same to you. Hopefully, the air route doesn't spoil it again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elliot. I'll He's already doing it. He's gonna. Do. So heading down to turn one. Come on, gearbox, when you want to work. Just want to let me select down to second, then. <laughs> Thanks, Dot Master. So we're heading down the hill now from turn 11. So we're flicking to fifth and trying to keep a tight line going through turn 12. Nice and flat, then run the car wide, down to third, or turn 13. Try and cut back on the inside as soon as possible if you can. Just a tad wide that time. A turn 15, avoid the horrible sausage curve on the inside. Uh, through the final corner. Nice tidy exit, so we'll see what we've done this time. Where are we going to be? <laughs> oh. Just gain just almost one second at the end. Oh, nice one. Yeah, because. Huh? Yeah, Bad concord of circumstances. Uh huh? No, that's not. That's a. Uh... There you go. Ah! Oh, baby, just <laughs> don't put people in. Okay, I'd also to see Aurel in here as well. He's currently second place in the Aston, so good job, Aurel. <laughs> and also A Rude as well. Yeah, yeah. The person who, Wait, who, Matt, who will be forever known as the else. guy who blocked <laughs> Taya Moussant's laps at South Africa. <laughs> it, it dive bombed me twice. It dive bombed you, yeah. So, not to worry, there's still a race coming up today, so not a problem with that. Uh, okay. This is really not my optimal pace. I was doing a lot faster earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe not. 150. I did 152, maybe. Jeff had a, uh, a strange man, a regular occurrence. What? Go ahead, Kalayami.
Ooh, right, uh, it's suddenly gone dark. And then you've put you've put how much uh, fuel? How much fuel do I have? I have 25 liters. 25 as well? Mm-hmm. I put 20. Jeff change appearance. No, Jeff is still Jeff. That red car to blame. That red car to blame? Don't introduce a new character in the story like that. I'm confused. But he, he asked his friend to uh, to say, yeah, donate. Guys, don't forget to donate money. I think he was a bit like, oh, don't do oh. this to me. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> um, Will I ever be rel relieved of my Lady Ponto title? I hate Kalami, but I love the track. I'm just awful at it. Uh, maybe. What new title do you want, though? Okay, I'm mid pack. This is going to be interesting. So it is. the The first section is going to be very difficult for you to when it tightens up. So just take it nice and cautiously for the beginning, anyway, and see how things pan out for you. And um, after the first lap. So good. Good luck to you, Taya. So just about to begin any moment, folks, with the rolling start. So good luck to everyone else from the Italian Musant community is in here. So we've got Aurel on the front row with me, Mr. Charles Leclerc. Oh, it's a pity, to be honest, we've yet to demonstrate uh, Aurel's Charles Leclerc impression, but I'm sure an opportunity definitely will come. Yeah, we're definitely. Definitely. So good luck to Aurel, Erud. Uh, saw Slankin in here as well. Aurel should do so, the voiceover for my videos. Yeah, you definitely have to. So, any moment, folks. Race two will be underway. No, go, go, go. Uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Good luck to you too, and good luck to the peeps from the community who joined. Uh. Absolutely. Just about dive bomb. Oh my god, I can't explain you. Count the left. Yeah, I lost a lot of spots. I think. Are you kidding? Unless it's my my oh, unless my delta is bugging. So don't worry about the delta. Don't don't look at that. You mean you look at the delta tail even in the race? No no no. Sorry, I I mean the relatives. Ah oh, right. Okay, the positioning got you. Oh my god! Someone span in front of me. Oh, did you manage to avoid them? Yep. Cool. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Ah! I'm on my first track warning already. Just the slightest touch too late. Had a uh, too wide. Had a turn nine. Naughty me. Got to be careful Clear now, folks, left. for the rest of the race. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason it was showing me I was in 23rd position. And then now I'm in 14th. I don't know, it, it, it takes... It takes <gasps> no! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh! Everyone is freaking dive bombing here! Are you kidding? What, have you been spawned around? Or you no, there? no, no, I was lucky, but I basically tried to um, avoid the car in front of me. And then I've got two cars that literally came like... Missed their breaking point, I think. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, that was scary. How did you survive that, Matt, Matt, Matt? I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> that was just crazy. Yeah, I think someone got a drive-through. I think, I think to be honest, I think everyone's gone over to watch you. To be honest, because it sounds more exciting your end than mine. <laughs> oh, are you in first position again? M might be. Oh, <laughs> that sounded like you were. Oh, come on, guys, what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna have to try and overtake these cars. Wish me luck! Nah, uh, you can do it, Taya. Good luck. Just remember your MFR race at the Hungara Ring, the overtakes that you did. Oh, 
God, I hope they don't do that to me again. What, the uh, dive bombing? Fingers crossed if you take it. Oh my god, now they're just breaking it. Oh, okay, there's someone crashing. Oh, look who's there! Andre! Oh, I'll read that in a sec. Matt, 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 bear with me, my friend. Some of the cars are way too much braking in the wrong locations. Yeah. Whoa, 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 mate! Hellstrom is not leaving much space here. Just being very aggressive. Ah. Yeah, I, I can understand where you're coming from, Matt. Matt, Matt. Like the race is coming oh, God. from my end. So, sorry about that. What, what I have to do for one of the upcoming races, I'll have to start from the very back of the grid. Like, see what happens. Whoa, 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 what's, what's this guy doing? Just... Oh, that's Aurel. Aurel wants a piece of, of where I am, but the thing is there's three cars. There's a bunch, like, three cars together. Yeah. Blocking the road. So you literally got nowhere to go, more or less. Oof, good luck, Aurel. Well, God! The the Sorry, go on. Okay, what happened here? Oh! Uh, Jesus Christ! Thank you, Elliot, for that. I think I might have got into someone, but he came out of nowhere. I didn't see him on my radar. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, was it was it another dive bomb in the tent by someone? I don't know if it was a dive bomb or if it was me. I'm gonna have to check. Okay. So if they just suddenly appear on your radar from nowhere, it might have been on them. Um, I've got a dive bombing attempt on their part, so I wouldn't worry too much, Taya. To now I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to rewatch the the um, the replay to know. Mm -hmm. I can't know for sure. Without, without forget, it, it is all fun after all. So, yeah, of course. I mean, if, you, if you're still unsure, watch your um, watch your live stream back later on and see uh, see what happens. I, I won't worry too much. We'll just um, keep focused and concentrated on the rest of the race. See if you can um, uh, make your way Smash forward. Smash my PB? Uh, sorry? Smash a new PB? Yeah, absolutely. I was just about to say in your mortal words, Tay, go, you go and smash it. Oh my god! People rejoining the track now. I've, I've seen it all. <laughs> this is stressful. I bet you've got nothing happening at the front. <laughs> I'll swap that for a million years. Oh, a million dollars. What, you is really? Ooh, okay. I'll, I'll consider that if you've got a million dollars on you right now. <laughs> oh, no, it can be really, it can be really stressful for you at the back, so... Just make sure that you're nice and relaxed, nice and calm, and work your way forward for the rest of the race. Go on, Taya, you can do it. Hello, everyone. Hello, Caio. Caio Costa. <laughs> Are you racing tonight? So, oh, that was a bit early turning, just about correcting it. I 
as it as it calmed down for you near the back. Yeah, the, the next car ahead is, is uh, Andre. Oh, Andre, okie doke. <laughs> Why did you say that like that? No, no. I don't mean it in a bad way, I was in a good oh, way. Oh, Andre, okay. Great, great, you yeah, know, he's driving his Audi. You know, I'm as usual. An Audi, yeah. Now, hats off to Andre for driving the Audi, because it is a bit of a handful, a bit of a beast, so... Oh, come on, short master. <laughs> Says if the black Porsche was here, I won't be so relaxed. You do, you do realise why me and Taylor are here, mate. This is all for fun, for charity. There's no seriousness about it at all. What this, what this oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Andre! Oh, I just realized it's Lankin now ahead of me. Oh, well, goes Lankin! Goes Lankin! Boop, boop! Oh, nice, so you've worked your way up to P8, brilliant. No, I think it's a uh, car crashing in front of me. Oh, okay. So, not long of the race left now, folks. Just under 4 minutes and 45 seconds. I went way too hard in that turn. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it would have been more comforting for me, Matt, if it was the Dark Knight rather than the Porsche. How's your tyre doing? How's my tyres doing? Um, just under 27 PSI at the front and about 27 and a half back. How about yours? Oh, Zlankin! Sorry, I'm having kisses with Zlankin. Oh, okay, fair dues. Um, they are close to. Wow, well, it's a mess. It's a big mess. Some of them are close to 25. 25, did you say? Yep, that's well said. I'm you're not skating round then. With those sort of low type. Oh, buses. I am. So you're doing really well there to keep hanging on with the car then, if it is doing that, and working your way forwards. Just half, I could see on the uh, relative, just half a second there between you and Slankin. So keep it up, Taylor. Whoa, 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 mate, mate, oh my god! That ki that car at the back is too keen, she just spans Lankin. <sighs> ah! Pause Lankin. How are you doing, Dan, at the front? Yeah, doing okay. Got a, um... <laughs> this sounds so bored. Yeah, I'm doing okay. <laughs> I've seen better days. I'm just taking it nice and a calm approach about it. <laughs> Currently, um, just under 17 seconds ahead of um, Kelly in the uh, Ginetta. What? How is Aurel doing? Can you see? He oh, he's uh, in fifth position. Big yeah, up, Aurel. A good recovery from Aurel. I know he slipped back a little bit at the start, so. Oh, are they silent shot? Oh, okay. So it says to me apparently the tyre pressures are one psi low on one side of the car to the other. For me? For you, yeah. Yeah, it's. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's. Um, <laughs> it's hard. I'm not having the grip I had earlier. When we trained. Yeah. That's true, but you're doing well though to keep hanging on with the car. So, on P7. I, nice. I don't have um, 
Guys, I don't have his um, setup, so it's not set up for. No, no Jeff. The, um, I have the aggressive right. setup on, so don't start. Don't guys start saying things. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, Taya didn't have enough time earlier on to install all the setups that I shared with her uh, for this evening. So, I'm so I think oh, she's got the setup for, haven't you? Around Spa yep. later on. So actually, yeah. maybe if I downloaded your setup, I would be alright right now. You would. You would indeed. You'd probably be worrying me in the uh, review mirror. Okay, maybe not that that much. You never know, Taya. You never know. You're surprised yourself. I mean, with your progress in um, in practice, just how much quicker you were getting. So you just never know. Exactly. So. Coming up to an, another uh, first of our back markers in the race. Oh, tried to. I, I nearly turned in too early for turn 15 with that horrible sausage curb. Oh, just good at 10 seconds left on the clock, and I'm just about to cross the line now. To start in the last lap. So nice. One nice. more lap. To go. I was hoping the timer would run out, but we've got plenty of fuel on board, so not a problem. Oh, I know this car very well, the Maserati. <laughs> oh, can I pass around the outside? Just. Thank you very much for leaving the space. I made sure that I left plenty of space as well when I um, overtake that markers, so we don't impede each other. <laughs> you um, so I don't know if you caught it in your live stream, Taylor, of um, when we raced around Designer, but I messaged Ryan, Full House Gaming, who was driving the Maserati, and I said to him, could you please turn the engine uh, volume down for your car, because you're drowning out all the other ones. <laughs> oh dear. I haven't, I haven't tried the Maserati yet. It's going to be one of the next ones, but um, mm -hmm. so I can't really comment on that. Just it's yet. Be Tell me. One. Tell me. What am I? Am I to expect with that Maserati? It's not going to be easy with the Maserati because obviously, compared to the other GT4s, it doesn't have any driver aids at all, so no anti-lock brakes or no traction control. So you're going to have to be very careful with your inputs, particularly accelerating and braking. It's going to be a bit of a handful for you. So, but. Once you get used to him, when the t tires come up to temperature, it won't feel as bad for you then. Um, the Maserati, which is just obviously the first few laps when the tires are cold, you will feel it for sure. Are you feeling up to do your Molly impression now? Oh god, I can see the fireworks they made for you. <laughs> My Molly impression. Come on, as you go through the had finish a Molly line. Impression anyway. Oh god, the tires is not happy. Oh, thanks the downloader for subscribing. Oh, uh, so there we go, folks. Hopefully, have you crossed the line yet, tire? Almost, almost, almost. Give me almost. a few, a couple of seconds. Okay, cool. It's all right. I was going to keep silent until when you crossed the line. I, I did. You Oof. did. Okay, cool. There we go. Race over, folks. So, oh god. Obviously, obviously, it was boring my end. We won't, we won't discuss that. But definite, huge congrats to Taylor from working away from P14 to P6 in the race. Absolutely oh, it brilliant. was, it was really not my, uh, my skill. It was more avoiding skill. Um, and, um, you and I think Zlank, Zlanken and Tumilty, they were both behind me. They had a little. Yeah. Uh, well, so Tumilty was feeling very aggressive, and then he got. He bumped. He bumped my little Zlankin. My little Zlanny who's now parking nicely in front of me. What is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> what is Zlankin doing? Woohoo, top 10. No idea. But... He's, he's parking really closely to me. Hold on. You want to kiss Chloe. Oh, okay. Well, you still... Well, you say not proof skill alone, but you still have to negotiate your way through any messes that happen, Taylor, which does take skill. So... 
So that, they'll be they'll be so downhearted on yourself. Oh no no no! You it's... Took took advantage because others made mistakes. You still got to thread your way through. So... This race is not healthy, Andre. Uh, hold on. Let yeah. just just ow ow. Just give me two seconds. I need to reorganize my hair. It's all sweaty. Oh. Our apparently Moon, he finished behind you, Taya, in P8. Oh, Moon A Moon. Team. Yeah, yeah, I saw. Yeah. I think I saw. Go, go, go. I saw him cool. spinning. Well, well, well done, Aurel, on your recovery drive to P4, mate. Yeah, that was. Awesome. You heated up. No, uh, Eric, it was, it was uh, dive bombing. It wasn't very nice. I would strongly advise you to avoid this type of. Uh... Mm -hmm. If you if you're if you're faster, then you either start a new lap or you wait or you overtake me, but do it s safely because like you gave me more scare than than anything else. And this is supposed to be fun, so let's keep it fun. Yeah, absolutely. Nice and chilled, Taya. Nice and chilled, all for fun. After <laughs> all, so we we're definitely um say a, a more laid back approach because obviously, folks, we're helping um. Mooney GT, the guy who's organised these races today for um, for us to take part in ACC. He's helping to raise money for a worthy charity for uh, Alex's Lemonade Stand. Uh, they help children, don't they, uh, Taya? Children who suffer with cancer, if I remember rightly, the yeah. uh, charity itself. Yeah, it is um, exactly that. Mm -hmm. So it's because it's, obviously he's, uh, his son suffers with a uh, brain tumour, doesn't he? Um, he was, yes. he was only seven years old, he's uh, Mooney GT's son, and he's had lots of radiation treatment as well as um, operations on his brain. But unfortunately, the um, uh, the, the tumour in his brain is... Um, you could, nobody can reach mm. the part of his brain where the tumour is. So, But he's doing really well, isn't he, Taya? Yeah. So he's nice and stable at the moment, which is the main thing, which is the important thing. So obviously, there's... um. A real personal connection uh, for Mooney GT for doing this stream today. He's, he's currently, I think he's about more than halfway through now, doing a 12-hour charity I, stream. I don't know how he's done it. Uh, I, watched, I watched him earlier. He was playing Fall Guys. He played Rocket League. He played yeah. um, Race Room. And I think he played something else as well. It's a little crazy. I don't know how he can carry on with so much energy. So, yeah, really big up to him for doing this mm -hmm. for a great cause, but also... For also, hey, what is this? Laguna Seca, okay. Yeah, is... we're at Laguna Seca next, next. So another familiar track to us, Taya. Considering it was the last round where you um got a podium um in the final MFR race. That's because my uh, co-driver co had done a beautiful blocus. <laughs> so I think 20 liters should be enough because for 30 minutes I had uh, 41. Hang on, uh, let me just go and check quickly. Where's my 15 minute? I've got so many cars set up saved in here. So, there we go. 15 minutes. 24 litres, I've put. <gasps> 24? 24, yeah. 24? Hold on. Yes. 24, yeah. <laughs> ah, cool. You sound shocked then when I said Because I put 20, I was thinking that on the last lap that would have been. <gasps> Can she do it? Can she make it to the finish line? No, she can't. No, she... Well, she have to do a bit of she lift and coasting me. techniques to get across the line. <laughs> right. Let's go on the track once again then for qualifying. And I see Taya, you've already started. I thought you was waiting for me anyway. We're meant to be teammates for the evening. Taya? Yeah, sorry. I missed that. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? I was reading the chat. Sorry. I oh, was you. Oh, okay. Now I just noticed that you exited the pit lane uh, well ahead of me. Oh. So I thought it was meant to be helping you around. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. No worries. You're here. What are you complaining about? Can't believe it. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> you watch any minute, folks. She's going to say that it's my fault again <laughs> because she decided to leave the pit lane early. <laughs> Would you like to uh, overtake me? Or would you like to stare at the back of my car? Clear on the right. It's alright. You can make it a bit harder for me if you want. We I can, can actually. We, this we is can the... reenact the qualifying sessions in Formula 1 from Monza. They're the... <laughs> Where they're actually holding each other up. Ooh. That was pretty confusing. 
around Monza. That it was like like a mini race, but in the qualifying session. <laughs> This is how you scream. If you were going like that for the corkscrew, I'd probably scream like that, if you're wondering. Yeah. <laughs> what would your scream be, Dan? What would my scream be? Uh, well, I don't scream that often, to be honest. <laughs> Very rarely. So you, should, you should try, it's I'd liberating. I'd only do one or two things. I could reenact you by going, no, 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 no. So that'll be the first thing. And then, secondly, I'll just be going, ah! Literally. So, okay, don't do that again. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize if I just suddenly made you all deaf. Ah! <laughs> I think you might have scared them rather than make them deaf. No, not to worry. All of my all of my viewer members will suddenly drop, and I think yours will as, uh, as well. So I apologize on behalf um, uh, on behalf of yourself, Taylor, and myself. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Don't know who that was in uh, Ginetta, I think it was. Oh, that's awesome. Short Master, apparently, Mooney GT is not far off from reaching $5,000. No! That's great! Oh, no. Awesome! Amazing. So, a huge kudos and well done, everyone who has uh, donated so far. To a worthy cause for Alex's lemonade stand. So if you if you guys if you haven't already, I mean, it, it's it's entirely whether you're able to, even if it's a little bit, every every little bit counts towards um, research to uh, such a worthy cause for pediatric cancer for uh, for young children. So if you look in the video, oh, I nearly lost it then. If yep. you look in the video descriptions of either uh, my live stream or Taya's, uh, there's a direct link uh, where you can donate to the charity itself. So, and there's, and there's also a link to where you can buy merchandise, buy t-shirts as well, where all the proceeds, all the profits go to charity as well, which is really awesome as well. So, no matter how large or how little, um, every little bit will definitely count towards... Um, Vital research to help um, to help these poor young children who have uh, unfortunately suffering with cancer. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Billy. Apparently, his ears are bleeding <laughs> after that scream I did. How's the car feeling for you, Tay, at the moment? Fabulous. Did I sound tense? No. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of panic, perhaps, but... <laughs> Threading our way out to the final corner. So, hopefully, will this be a 133 lap, Taya? As we cross the line? Oh. Yeah. yeah! No, no, no. Bye. Oh. Cut detected. Cut detected. Okay? Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm okay. Well, I'm, I'm not upside down, so I guess I'm alright. Yeah, that's, that's something. <laughs> you haven't gone straight on yet at the tyre barrier, the corkscrew either, so... Can't quali? What happened, Andre? Can't qualify. You might want to... Oh, you might want to do a fast lap, though. You've got um, a bit of time. The, the, the tyre pressures are fine uh, on my end. Matt, Matt, Matt. It's just the fact that I'm not pushing at the moment because I'm helping Taya. Um, and she's really slow, so. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Uh, here, here I am trying to be the best coach ever, and 
and Teo is shooting herself down quite literally. <laughs> oh well, it's like it's like in the Discord chat sometimes if I try and give some inspiring words to people and then it sort it sort of backfires because they start being critical of themselves. I just think that's it. My ambitions as a life coach are over. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's 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 hard to try and be positive sometimes, but I mean I I know because I suffer with mental health unfortunately, and I can understand how bad it can be trying to keep yourself positive. And I know I know. Oh. Ah, stain, 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 stain. Remember to break at the free marker board, Taya. Just just before it in front. I don't fancy it. What do you fancy being braver? <laughs> I I do. I see the sun, I want to make a castle. I can't stop the <laughs> Aston Martin going over there. Absolutely. <laughs> You've got to enjoy the sand, I suppose, while we're here. We're doing a relaxed, well, more relaxed stream anyway, so you might as well just park over, chill out. Yeah, I'm... I'm just find castle, have a little drink while you're at it. Oh, God. Oh, 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 no. Okay, it's okay. I think uh, Tia is reaching her limits. I disagree. I think there's more in you yet. So, one, one last lap, Tia. Do you reckon we can do another 133? You, you guys are going to see me melting in my seat. Uh, yeah, it's probably. awesome, uh, Dominic. You're ahead of me. Congrats. Nice, got the car slowed down for turn two. Nicely done. And then in between the two and one marker board, we'll break down to third gear. Take a tight line. So turn four and fourth gear. Slight dab of brake and then turn in as early as you can without abort, without hitting the sausage curb on the inside. Sure. So turn right for the two marker board and then get the nose of the car turned in nice and early as you make your way up the hill. Towards turn six, so we'll break between the two and one marker board. Definitely avoid the... Ah, I've gone too No! Wide. No! Dan! <laughs> oh, no. There you go. <laughs> See what Dan made me do? See you guys? Uh, <laughs> this happened as well in practice, if you're wondering. Uh, you might as well jump back to the pit lane there, uh, Taya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that's that. A, no, that's okay. I only had... Uh, I, I was only going to smash my PB. But, hey. <laughs> Oopsie! Oops. Uh. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, uh, it's oh, well. fine. Yeah, it's fine. We can make it up in the race, no problem. We're currently in 8th and 10th on the grid with Aurel in pole position, all chi oh, chili dog in P2, oh in fact, and Erud in P3 as well, so. Showing off. I mean, yep, showing off indeed. <laughs> uh, all good, Mike. So, Do -do. Well, just make sure the um, race setup is loaded. So don't forget 25, no, 24 litres, sorry, Taya, for, for the race. Yeah, got that. What happened, Andre, though? Why could you not... Uh, where Done. is Andre? I was uh, 20th on the grid, is Andre. So... Eyes Lankin, I was doing a good lap just at the end. I somehow managed to come out come out the track. It's alright, you can't just do 100% uh, every time. I, I, did, I did my 100% at Branzach and now I feel like, uh, like I might just melt. <sighs> but uh, it's good to remember that's sold for charity, so we're here to have fun. Mm -hmm. So we're going Absolutely. to follow Dan everywhere, including uh, if he comes out in the sand. We're just going to do that. <laughs> Absolutely. We might, we might, you never know, we might decide part way through the race that we don't feel like racing. We'll just park up and relax instead. Chili Dog is asking how much fuel. Can you tell him 10? 10 litres. Just, just no, guys. Five. Five, five, <laughs> five litres. Don't be mean, guys. Don't, don't, don't. 
I can't I can't type now, it's just too I would have typed to him but Nah don't worry. We're just being played for as usual. Of course. Uh, in line for the rolling start. Yeah, fingers crossed Danny for you that you don't get disconnected. Oh god, uh, what is going on? Finding my internet will play ball. <laughs> Uh, it was uh, it was a nightmare during the Forza Horizon stream I did the other day. Just I had to do it in two parts because the internet just suddenly conked out. Oh well. But anyway, good luck to you as well, Tay. It was nice to but see you. <laughs> good nice see. Did you did you hear that? What was that? I said it was nice seeing you. It was nice knowing you, even. Absolutely. It's been short but sweet, but it's been great. <laughs> This is probably going to be the last time that I'm going to see the United Racing Colours in my rear view mirror, for sure. Uh, we'll see how the race unfolds, you never know, Taya. What can happen? So, good luck to you anyway for this third race of the evening for charity. But yeah, Matt, 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 those um, pressures on Taya's car are absolutely fine for the tyres. Sorry I didn't get a chance to answer you. But anyway, race freeze, go, go, go. Pedal to the metal. Car on the left. Me on the left. Oh. Somehow avoided the Porsche in front of me. Oh, I can see. I can see. Oh. Oh, this car. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, great. Someone just spun me over. Great. Oh, I, ha I had a feeling that might have happened at turn one. Uh oh. Tia is uh, going around with a broken car. Clear on the right. Well, I take it you got some damage. Ah, what the heck? Yeah, my wheel is now sideways. Oh, you're kidding. So you might have to, you might have to pit for repairs. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to pit. But uh, hold on, because I'm I'm with the slow, slower. Yes. Don't forget to um, I, I turn the fuel off as well, tail reduce it to zero because it'll add fuel for you in the pit. Oof! It was definitely not my fault. I was paying a lot of attention to my radar and all that. Yeah, sometimes got all oh, instant in front. Oh, all rails lost it. Slow car ahead. So we've got Chili Dog in the lead around uh, Laguna Seca. So a bit of a crazy first lap there, but. Uh, I thought it might have been. Um, I thought it might have been Mooney GT in the Porsche. Apparently, he's spawning uh, somewhere around me. Just oh, slip up the inside of the. Sorry. Building. Yeah, um, I've got. Uh, 30, 40 seconds of, of uh, fixing, repair. Oh, okay. Vamos, my darling. Uh, thank you, Mauro. Mauro. I uh, unfortunately... Uh, oh, no, no, no. I didn't unfortunately. Someone unfortunately took me with them. They quite like the color of my car and they thought, why not take that one with me? And that worked really well. Congrats to you guys, to you, um, Mr. Spinner. They had the Porsche that spun and drove. Oh, it was Moon. Yeah, and I you... think it was Moon, if I remember rightly. I didn't drive into anyone uh, though, and you drove into Moon. I I wasn't driving at this point. I was spinning. Yeah. Uh -uh. How could you know who it was? You were, you were, went miles ahead. Did you see it from the back, from the mirror or something? Yeah, I saw it in the rear view mirror happening. Yeah. This, this is what, this is how you want to see it happening, to be honest. Well, Chili's in the lead at the moment, Matt, 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 but that won't last. 
So my wheel is straight uh, is back to being uh, centered. So I think my my bodywork's been fixed. Cool. Yeah, it should be should be absolutely fine now. Say, oh, I can see you in front of me. Oh, You're great! In, um, in front of Chili Dog now. So let's see if any of my Teemu Song Discord clan make it easy for me <laughs> to get by. All oh, air routes run wide on the gravel trap or in the sand, shall I say? So it's now just Chili Dog in front of me. Here, Chili, Chili, Chili. Lonely, I miss the lonely. I am nobody. All on my own. <laughs> Not to worry, we'll soon keep you company. Oh, thanks, Dan. You're very welcome. Oh, I should say, I'm Mrs. I'm Mrs. Lonely. I am nobody. All on my own at the back. Oh, lonely. Thank you, what? He just, I think he lifted to let me through. Didn't need to do that, mate. We're in a race after all, my friend. Chat's gone quiet since I sung. Have I killed anyone? I'm sorry. No, no. It sounded absolutely fine to me. <laughs> I can remember a rendition you did of that song for me when I was on my own at Silverstone, up front. Where should I let you go? Uh, wait until after the corkscrew. See, this is a good, uh, a good way to uh, be overtaken. Oh, oh, before the corkscrew. Then. Well, I, I mean, you, up. you, <laughs> you came a bit <laughs> fast, I might say. Good, clear communication gone spectacularly wrong. <laughs> Mind you, it's a good job it wasn't worse than that. I might have accidentally pointed you, Taya. <laughs> and now in you, you probably turn around and say, oh, it was your fault, Daniel. I left the door open to let you through and you still hit me. <laughs> Yeah, my safety rating's going back up. Nice. It's now shot up to 86 as my uh, safety rating. Come on. Carl, that sort, Master. Ali. <laughs> Chili uh, must be like, oh god, I've got Dan behind me. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a lot of, um, a lot of blue flag now. This is, this is fun. Okay, mate. Ow. But just always make sure you stick to your racing line, uh, Taylor. Let everyone else work their way around you. So, is it? Is that yep. what you're supposed to do when? Uh, uh, supposedly, yeah, that's what, that's what you're meant to do anyway, when you see faster cars coming appro uh, approaching you, you just, it's up to the leaders to make their way around you. Wow, what the hell? What happened? Well, I think it's the... It might have been... I don't know. I don't know. Never give up. Uh, I don't give up. I'm still in the race, but uh, unfortunately, yeah. I mean, my wheel was sideways after that crash. There was not. There was nothing I could do. The cars were literally coming every corner of me. I was taken in multiple sandwich. Mhm. Mm yeah. There's nothing that Taya can really do once the car is in that condition. Once the. Uh Literally, the steaming wheel was pointing in one direction, so she had no choice but to uh, to pit to repair it and has lost uh, a lap as a result, unfortunately. Not, not no fault of her own. She was just involved in an incident at um, 
turn to Andretti. So. Just wait until the final race, Tay. It's all going to be uphill from here. Oh! Just. Jesus Christ! There is avoiding and just stopping on the track. This guy just decided to stop on the track because there's a car in front of him. Oh. Why did you try to hit him? Sorry? Why did you... But why did it just stop? Did you not see the other car? I know, I don't know, but... <sighs> I'm in last position anyway, just go. It's alright, Tay, not to worry. There's the, there's the final race to look forward to. Around Spa. Okay, Joe, do you want to sit down and do the race? Okay, cool. Say again? No, hold on, Jeff is here talking to me. Oh, okay. uh, no one's on the track. Yeah, car is okay somehow. That seems like a like a worse crash than the other one, but. Uh, mm -hmm. <sighs> I thought he slowed down, but I didn't think he stopped, and it literally stopped in the middle of the track. Mm -hmm. Something happened to um, Aurel as well? Yeah, he uh, he spun it on the first lap, going out of a uh, rainy curve. Okay. Holy moly. How are you doing in... Uh, are you in first position? Yeah, Zero I'll to six. Take my fastest ever lap around Laguna Seca. You've done your fastest ever lap? Yep. What's that? One twenty nine three seven zero. Goals. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say much for the latter part of the lab. I was just I saw the um the uh, the delta at the top left and I saw it was in plus forty odd. So I thought, oh I better cut sit and concentrate here, see what I can do. But one twenty nine three <laughs> Alien alert. I'm not quite that good, uh, Silent Shock. I wish I was. He was dead again. Silent Shock, did I scream? Tight on that T1. Oh. That's all right, what? Uh, don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Um, Silent Shop, what the best time would be around Laguna? For who? Uh, Cavion. You know the uh, the alien from um, MFR series who teamed up with who was, was it Andy the Lab? I yeah, I guess you could uh, find her best time if you watch the um, Laguna Seca MFR event we had. Because I think she was driving in that one, so she probably did her best, right? It's yeah, quick. in that one. Well, I think her, I was looking back at the results on there. Her fastest race lap was only about two temps quicker than mine. So. Yeah, it really depends on track, I think. It's yeah. So it was very, very, very close indeed. Bit of understeer at a turn six. So, not to worry, Tay. Less than two minutes to go, we'll move on. I'm just glad I didn't have to uh, go back to uh, the pit lane again. You did? How come? No, I, no, I said I'm, I'm just glad I didn't have to. Oh, right, okay. Okay, I was just, I was just gonna say, well. About a minute and a half left now in this, so...
the suffering won't be for much longer and we can look forward to the final race of the evening around Spa Francorchamps. Oh my god, the final race is gonna be. <laughs> uh, is it, I'm gonna take it easy on the last one. I'm getting a blue flag. Come on. Whoa. Come on, mister. I don't know. Oh, it's Andre as well. Andre, go, go, go. Ah, it's Mr. Andre. Cool. Car on the left. Me on the left. Oh. Fun racing you. Uh, sorry, Captain Flat. I'll, uh, flat spot. I'll, I'll read that when, uh, in fourth, well, in lap or so, that, mm -hmm. that, uh, that, then should be on his last lap very shortly. Are you on your yeah, last well. level? 30 seconds left on the clock and I'm coming up to the corkscrew, so this should definitely be the last lap. The corkscrew, wow. Yeah. Oh, I guess I span again. I was going to say you already put that much of a difference between the both of us. Oof. Okay, I'm getting another push to tank. For repair, so don't worry about that. So here we are then folks, both approaching the final corner. Then second gear, tight line, and then nice and wide over the curb. And there we go, another 15 minute race complete. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you, Taya. I'm sorry yours hasn't gone as well around ah, here. Alright. Happens. It does. It does happen, but... People fancy sandwiching me! <laughs> Apparently I make a good, um... Make a good sandwich. But you make a good sandwich. Yeah, as, a, as an ingredient. I was gonna... I was gonna... Oh, okay. Specify <laughs> that, but... Didn't quite get... Oh! That's oh, alright. Don't worry. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you, thank you, short master. Oh, is that on? Oh my God, Andre! No, Andre just so had... run so wide. Had... Mm -hmm. So, so we won that one. Uh, Chili Dog finished in second place. So good job by Chili Dog. Congrats to you both. And then, thank you. And then, Edward did... completed the podium. So you can be pleased to know, Taya, that. Members from your Discord community have filled out the podium. Nice! So, brilliant job by the community all round. I guess we've got some fast peeps in the community. We certainly have. Building in confidence all the time, getting faster and faster, which is great to see. And a lot of people also left right, as I crossed the finish line, so technically I made it in 14th position. <laughs> No, they just they finish they finish their race. So yeah, congrats everyone. I'm with speakers so I can hear the stream. Yeah, congrats, Erud. Awesome being in third position. Uh, hold yeah, on, let me... Well done, Erud. Great job, mate. So we just about missed the rest of the results. So I wasn't sure where's Slank and it's too fast. Uh, Andre finished. Too fast. Sorry? It was too fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> well, well, just to make things a bit more interesting, I'll um, I'll help Taya around Spa Francorchamps, and then I'll probably start somewhere near the back, if you like, for this oh. um, for this last race. Oh uh, yeah, Aurel, <laughs> Aurel, same same story for me. Actually, I was in eleventh. Good, oh, Dominic. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. What happened to you, Aurel? What um. At rainy curve on the first lap, did you lose it on your own, or did someone collect you going through um through that section of the circuit? Maybe they don't like the French. <laughs> no, I don't think that's that. Uh, or well, driving with high ping is like seeing. Ah, uh, maybe that's partly what happened. But um, same story in for races. What can happen next? Well, mm -hmm. uh, Spa, uh, Spa is a very sh large track, Andre, so it should be. You should have lots of space. It's, it's well, going to be hard. Oh, that, you say that, but I'm just thinking just now about all Rouge and Radion and on the first lap. <laughs> it's good, maybe because of the crashes as well. Are you guys joining the last race then, the Spa race? 
this is definitely my uh, my low point out of all the track. I think I'm quite slow compared to. Um, if I compare my my lap time to Dan, that's the one where we've got the most pace. So I guess that's the one where I need to improve a lot. Or maybe he's just really good at that track. Is that a French flag? What? <laughs> nice. Lincoln just posted the French flag. See, I remember you destroying your car. For good cause. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I hope you all donated in um with the link in the description already, or if you actually, or if you at least went and say hello. I know the short master's done it because he's giving me updates from the Mooney stream. Um, mm -hmm. but if you go and say hello, um, there it would be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Spread Pretty some sure love. Give, uh, a few kind words of encouragement for Mooney GT, considering that he's uh, more than halfway through doing his twelve-hour um, stream right now. So a very be best of luck to him for that. I find that all the races, they have kind of like a similar shape in the end. This looks a bit like, if you look at it from far, it looks a bit like Misano. In some ways, yeah, I can see what you mean. Yeah, it looks like Misano, except it's been flipped. Yeah, I, c I can see in some way what you mean by that. But, um, but it's not. I'm, I'm not saying it's Misano exactly. I'm no, just saying no, it, no, the no. shape I of it. I know what you mean, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, so setup. I'm on uh, the setup that we. 50 minute race, perfect. Yeah, absolutely. So that should be absolutely spot on for you, Taya. So are you ready to drive out? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, okay. Do you know what? These these um, these uh, races they are a lot harder than I thought they would be. I thought for some reason 15 minutes is going to be easy because we do um, 30 minute races and I've done our stint, but no. Yeah. So, do you want to try my trick to come out the pit lane quickly? Uh, go on then, if you must. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's literally worked out a trick technique to speed up through the pit lane. <laughs> do you just literally hit the pit limiter off and on again? Yeah. Okay, hang on then. Cause it's... Ah, it works. Because <laughs> this is like the worst bit Len in the world. Oh, but you yes. have to do that really quickly, otherwise Dan found out that you just got back to, to your spot. <laughs> yep, yeah, I literally got disqualified, yeah. <laughs> and look at that, she just cheated her way out the pit lane, got ahead of me. I, I taught you everything. Okay, come on, you can, you can overtake me. I'll let you go. Let oh, okay. you go. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I was just reading what Chili Dog put in my uh, live stream chat. Hang on. I almost kept you a little one. Oh. Yeah, you, yeah, you did, Chili Dog. I, I was wondering actually whether you'd let me through or not um, on that on the lap where I took the lead from you. So you didn't have to do that, mate. We were in a motor race after all. So make, make the battle nice and hard. Defend for your life if you need to. <laughs> Deploy gamer muscle techniques and block the road. <laughs> oh, what was I just thought of in my head? Initiate tea bag strategy. What? What did you say? <laughs> I said initiate tea bag strategy. Not, not, not the nickname he's given you, calling you tea bags. I mean, literally, like a tea bag. Oh, I see, tea. I see. Oh, you sounded confused then, didn't you? I was like, is he starting to call me tea bag now? <laughs> no, no. No, I don't mean as in the nickname he called you. I mean, he's in like, you know, tea bags. He loves tea. I can't get you to call me Tea, but you, you're you going to call me tea bag now? What the hell? Anyway, f forget what said that. This could this could literally. No, I get what you said. You, we have a boot full of tea bags, and we're going to throw it on the road. I think it would be helpful though if it was raining, because that would make it worse. Oh yes. Make the uh, track service very interesting. Anyway, it's full of soaked tea bags. Okay, so <laughs> on on this trait, uh, Dan has a. Uh, oh, I made it. Oh, you made it just nice. I was watching in the rear view mirror to see where you was. Nice. 
Yeah, Blancchemin is an absolute pain to try and get right in these GC4 cars. And so is the bus stop. So, up, up. bus stop. Ready? Ready. Red, let's go. Um, his target was 3,000. Has he made his target higher? He has, isn't it? Because he had already reached his target earlier. Yeah, he's uh, he's beaten his original target of 3,000. Oh, I remember right, so ago. he's increased it to like 6,000? Wow, that's absolutely I'd, brilliant. I'd, hold on, hold on. Shortmaster, can you confirm what's his current target? Yeah, what his, uh, what his current title is at the moment. Nice, 5,000. So he's increased it by 2,000, which is awesome. And he's about $400 away. Well, from reaching 6K, nice. That's absolutely brilliant. Well, 5K. Five, 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 five. Do you hear me, Dan? Five. Five, triple zero. Nice. Well, hats off, everyone, who's, uh, who's been kind enough to donate to such a worthy cause and helping Mooney GT reach five, just over five thousand dollars already. So well done everybody. I think his son is going to be really happy when he found out what his dad yeah, managed to raise in a day. Mm. The eight hour stream was really worth it. I've got Tony having a crazy moment running from a place what? to place. I'll say, what's Tony doing? <laughs> Tony's just having a run. I can hear his little boogie against the floor. You know when they're having that crazy moment? Yeah. Well, it's a, in a way, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a good thing that my uh, little Molly is an elderly cat. Of, of, she's about 19 years old, is uh, my Molly, and she spends most of the day just sleeping. So. Oh yeah, Tony as well spent his day sleeping, but his morning. Yeah. Um, he, this morning he was having a totally crazy moment. Uh, no, actually, in the morning, every morning, so he's gonna come and sleep on you. Yeah. And try and wake you up until you give him food. Then he needs his morning snuggle, so he, he won't leave you alone until you had a snuggle with him. <laughs> on his on lap. He needs his face being stroke, his belly as well. Um, Jeff yeah. does the belly because I can't do the belly. I don't really understand the belly stroke. And if you get it wrong, then he gets angry. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, Jeff, I think Tony's interested in my food now. In your food? Yeah, Jeff what? spread lots of food on the floor next to me. And now Tony's like, having a go at it. Oh, okay. No! <laughs> He's going around. <laughs> Sorry, you have to hear that, um, Dan. No, it's all right. Don't worry. No, no need to apologise, Taya. No, oh wait, I don't mind at all. He's right next to me. He's going to do it again. Ready? Tony, do you want to say something to the viewers? Oh. Tony. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hear Tony over the, uh, the V8 rumble of the Aston, but I'll give it a go, anyway. Yeah! That was me. <laughs> oh. That would be Molly. <laughs> Molly's like a macho cat, she's got a macho voice. Absolutely. <laughs> That's only more tigerish. Um, Higher than a cat. Um, a house cat. <laughs> <laughs> Molly used to be a tiger in her previous life. Yeah, that could that could explain why she sounds different, <laughs> different in her tone. Uh, bless her. I mean, earlier on, Tay, when um, when we was going around practicing around Spa and Kyle Army, she was wide what awake then, and when she wants my attention, for she's literally on the floor. Right next to me and nudging, nudging my leg constantly, crying out for me. <laughs> Sweet little thing. I think just because of how busy I've been lately with, um, yeah, you know, helping with MFR series, I've kind of abandoned her a little bit, which is a shame, to be honest. Aww. But now I've got this free time, I can, um, 
I can give her the fuss she wants. Uh, I, I feel really guilty in that sense, to be honest, with, um, with Molly. So you can't really see folks at the moment on my webcam, but she's literally to the left-hand side of me over here, falling fast asleep at the moment. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Yay, nice one, Taya. We didn't even do this in practice. We didn't, no. We got close though, 236, so that's absolutely brilliant. Well done. I have 240 cats. Huh? In my farm in Italy? Moro, that sounds like a paradise island. <laughs> he had 240 cats in a farm in Italy. Although... 240, wow. I hope they... yeah, huh? Did you say? Oh, it smell like brioche now. Yeah, they're all the same, mate. They silent shot cats every morning. They're literally nudging you, headbutting you to, to feed them. Molly's the same as well. And, um, what? Why is there a yellow flag? So particularly with our cat as well, Tay. If, um, if she's right next to you, stroking you, Molly, she starts nibbling at your hands, literally. She doesn't bite. She likes to, like take, takes a little nibble out of at your finger. Little nibble. Yeah. Uh, see, Tony has two massive teeth. So if he was nibbling your fingers, you probably have no more fingers. No, I wouldn't. No, I won't. It's a good job in that sense, then. She, our Molly doesn't have any front teeth left, unfortunately. She had to have them um, taken out, because they were just getting rotten. So, she hasn't got many teeth left, bless her. the end of the lap folks uh, for the final lap of qualifying we'll see if Taylor is able to set a faster lap so just can she control. do it oh nice I think she just about got away with it so, Fred now way through the bus stop up to the start of finish line. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Bring it on! Nice one. <sighs> that was a big improvement. That was what four tenths that time. Yeah. No. Well, hold on. My my. It's about one second, I think, because my uh, previous PB when we practiced together yeah. was um, one thirty-six point six, I think, or point five. So it was quite high still. It was, but at least, you know, you can definitely confirm it this time that you set a better lap. So, brilliant job, Taya. Thank well you. Thank you, um, Daniel, for helping me out. That was definitely a little bit, or if not a lot, thanks to you. No, you're very welcome. I also um, say it's, it's all part of the, the training that we do when we did MFR. But, you know, I, I still like to make sure that, you know, I, I want to help you feel comfortable and climatized around the track so we you still we still follow each other around the track and mm -hmm. it, it's all really just to help um help Taya to get in the zone and feel comfortable around um each circuit we race at so i mean particularly at the last uh, race we did yesterday around kyle army uh, she was struggling in qualifying to get into a rhythm and then for a couple of laps she followed me around and instantly found the time that she was seeking and, and you was actually getting faster and faster, wasn't you, in uh, in qualifying? So that really did the trick. Yeah. Indeed. So. Less people, yeah, Andre. Um, I think it's quite late for a few people because there's people from literally over, all over the world that were participating in this. There's people in America, people in Australia. Yeah. People from everywhere. So. So this is very late for us indeed. <laughs> well, yeah, it's quite late for me actually. At night, I was already sleepy. Sleepy, sleepy, but it's uh, for a good cause. As um, Mooney GT reached his targets yet? 
Did you disappear? Oh, someone's already gone to the pit lane, Taya, so that's another spot we've picked up. Uh, the car that was in front of you in fourth has gone to the pit lane. Yeah, why is that? Because they didn't select drive, I don't think, quick fast enough. Oh. So it gives you a time limit. If you don't select drive, it puts you back into the pit lane. Yeah, I had that once. Uh, no, actually, I didn't get that. I got the um, problem when I was driving not in my spot, so that's yeah. a different problem. Different issue! Absolutely. So here we are then, folks. The final race of the evening around Spa Francorchamps is about to begin. No, put our down. Oh, Taylor's got the jump in front of us. Go on, I'll let you take all rouge. What? That's it. <laughs> uh, it was all rel. Oh no. <laughs> oh, poor all rel. Oh, sorry, all rel. Sorry about that. So, please let me know when you want to overtake me. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. You're okay for a bit. Yeah, like I was in uh, the corkscrew. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, the, what, the first car at the front is losing it. Or maybe that's just ping. I don't know. Might be just ping. Yeah. I think the other cars at the back are keeping their distance though. Oh, it's always sensible on the first lap anyway, just to try and get into a sort of smooth rhythm. Well, of course, the poor thing for Aurel now, he's got to trundle his way all the way through that long pit lane before getting onto the track. Oh god, yes. I didn't even think about that. Well, he can use my technique if he was watching the stream. That oh. might make him gain a bit of time. Uh, apparently, we're racing around uh, Billy's patch as well, around Belgium. So, good to see we're racing on your home circuit, mate. Oh. Oh, sorry, am I slowing you down? No, no, not at all, not at all. I was just, I was just reading some of the comments in my chat. It's all right. The night is too young. Straight now is all real. Crikey's a long way behind us. Matt, Matt, where are you based? You're not in the UK then. If you're midnight, you're somewhere in Europe? Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. It's alright, you're okay. There we go, survive lap one. Yeah, you're not far off the lead, I tell you. So you're doing a great job so far. Thank you. Heading down to the last source, so just in Oh good scrap in front of us anyway between the BMW and Porsche. Yeah, good luck. I'll let you pass them. If you can make the the way for me, that would be good. I'll try my best. Right. I'll wait until the Kemmel straight. So there's a lot of ping going on, the um, rubber banding, the car's going back and forth as a result. It's alright, stay in front for now, I'm too far behind you, so I won't dive, dive bomb you at Lake Comp. that in the sex short master bear with me as we head up to the ease easiest track and um, easiest corner on the track to remember because it doesn't have no a name. name yeah i think you've said it so many times today to me that i i know it has no name now yeah it's good it's good you haven't got to try and get your brain scrambled to think what it's actually called <laughs> and then through poo on poo on who on? Yeah. Oh, I just noticed you braked early. Sorry. That's all right. Clear on the right. All good scrap at the moment. Oh, Dan's running a bit wide. Can take take advantage. Clear on the right. Heading up to Stavolo. Car on the right. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Just on your inside. That's it. 
Mr. Costa. No! I'm losing all my spot now! Ah! Oh, it's Mr. Costa as well! Mr. Costa, yeah. It literally just cost you a lot of time there. Yeah. Did you get it? His name's Costa. As in cost, you know, cost a yeah. lot. Oh, mind. <laughs> You're making <laughs> words, wording joke while I'm on a on a spat track. Do you think that's what the driver they do at like like Le Mans today, having jokes with their engineers? It's not Maybe. on. Never know. No, no. <laughs> They might do. I oh, know, just another another bad pun from me there, folks. Sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm full of really terrible ones. <laughs> oh, an undercut. Oh, indeed, chilly. Probably is I'm, I'm a bit afraid afraid to overtake myself because of all this ping that's going on. I'll well, try and see if we can get the BMW at the next corner. Get a good exit. And inside. Make sure we leave each other space. Just so I was up to P3. Woo! Oh. Come on, Aston, don't lose control now. So how, how are you doing, Taya? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I'm in sixth position. I'm Bianca Costa, and yeah. I've got the sound of full guys in my head. So when I'm sleeping, I go, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> well, I can feel more relieved this evening. Anyway, because my safety rating's now gone up to 88, which is pretty cool. <sighs> my mind has been put at rest. <laughs> Not going to have nightmares anymore of it dropping down further. Dear me! What happened? No, uh, hold on, I can't talk. I'm at the bus stop. And the bus is just uh, parking up. <laughs> going to <gasps> catch a ride on the bus. Side. Uh, I did one f uh, 235.01. Nice job. That's another new per personal best. It is. Ooh, and I might do a 134 this lap. Who knows? Ah, I forgot to lift off. Shoot. <laughs> Just about got away with it at the top of Radion. Oh, I didn't. I, I lifted off, but I went out. Ow, ow. Well, I'm talking to here, Chili. Apparently, his safety rating went up to 99 this evening. Nice. So, awesome job, Chili. Nice, nice. The Taylor Mousson community is teaching everyone tonight how to race cleaner and cleanly and improve their safety rating. So, we've done pretty well all round. I think it's my first time racing with Costa and he's, uh, he's racing really fast. And I like the colour he's yeah. picked as well. I think he's driving the Aston Martin. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's driving the Aston, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he did mention that earlier when he was... Uh... The laps are so long on this track that um, I feel like the race goes a lot faster here. Ooh, 
Uh, in a way, it does. Yeah, it does. It does feel like sometimes it goes very quickly. This is the air races around longer tracks. It's kind. Of, it kind of um, plays on your mind. It, your mind plays tricks. Because I mean, going around Le Mans, for example, um, in sim racing, when you drive round. It doesn't feel that long at all, but when you look at the stopwatch at the end, it's telling you to do like three minute lap. You just wonder where the hell that time's gone. God damn it. Bye. I keep coming out the track. Mind you, have you raced around Le Mans yet, Taya, in any game? Uh, yes, there's a... Uh, Jeff told me earlier this... Oh, Mr. Costa just uh, missed the bus stop. Um, yeah. I'm just trying not to crash into him. Now he's defending his line, which makes sense. I would do the same. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to have the best exit though. So this is my chance. Ah, he's faster in straight line. Uh, I lost what? Yes. Um, is there 38 turns in total? Where's that? The mom? Yeah. Uh, roughly around that much, yeah. I know there's a lot of corners to the mom. Because it's like twice um, Hungaroring, which I think has quite a lot of turns. Uh, well, no, actually, three, more than twice. Um, yeah. I've gone a few times around it, but I just can't remember all the turns yet. Because it's like, there's so many of them. Well, luckily, at the moment, it's not relentless like the Hungaroring, where you just have one corner after another after another. You do have a lot of um, straight lines, long yeah. Straights, the rest. Yeah, great. In between, so it's not as, you know, in a way, in a sense, it's not cha as challenging as somewhere like. Ooh, um, he's leaving me space. Is he? He's leaving me space. Come on. God, getting close to second place. I'm not quick enough to catch Whoa. Webb in the front. He was only a few times slower than me on the last lap, so our pace is more or less even. Me and Costa having a little dance. Cool. Oh. Well, worked our way up to P2, ahead of Nichols in the Porsche. But then again, he's he's got a lot more straight line speed than me. Here we go. Crikey, he's more or less leaving me standing still. Oh, this is going to be interesting at Blanc Simon. Oh, he's got a head. God, that Porsche is rapid in a straight line. But we got the inside though for the bus stop. There we go. That's second place. So I'm, I'm not. I think this might be the penultimate lap now. I think. Okay, I've uh, I've just got a warning for exceeding a uh, track limits. Oh, is that uh -oh. I think me and Costa we probably had it because uh, 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 I can't remember where I was. I lost track. I just exceeded too many times. Oh, I'll get you. Well, I'm already on two warnings. If it's any consolation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's so my first not, warning. I'll so. get away with it. <laughs> oh, chilly. I'll, I'll, I'll read what he um, what he said in just a sec about Le Mans. He said, if I can read it fast enough, uh, Le Mans was designed to be able to eat cheese and drink wine on the straight. <laughs> That's very true, chilly. Certainly gives you plenty of time anyway to munch on a nice bit of cheese. Too long to go now, folks. In this last race of the uh, of the evening. Oh my God! Forty-two seconds. 
I wonder if that's the last event for Mooney. I think it is the last event. I think he might yeah, be done after yeah. after this. Yeah, I think there was only four that were announced, weren't there, I think. And that was the last one, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure! <laughs> well, let's, let's hope so. Have we got enough energy in reserve for another one? <laughs> I know, Tay, you, uh, you was feeling really tired before the live stream yeah, I'm started, didn't you? you wide had to awake literally now. <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> yeah. I'm wide awake. Actually, I was one minute late because I had to brush my teeth. I had biscuits everywhere. Leader has the race. Hey, leader has finished the race. Who's the leader? Yeah. Uh, Web in the Ginetta. So good job, Web. Nice victory. Nice one. So I, I wasn't able to catch up. I was too far behind at the start, and then I was only like a few attempts quicker per lap. So ah. not right, enough time. So but well done, Web. Nice victory. I'm very happy with uh, one uh, 235. It's it yeah. feels a lot longer though. One lap in that in that car. Well, it is a lot longer. Ooh. It does. Hey, Andre. Whereabouts are you? Are you parked up or? Nice. Uh, I'm a, yeah. I'm in. Um, oh, okay. It's all right. I thought at the start. Since this was the last race, I thought we'd have a slow drive round together on the on the final lap. Of the race before we um, so, end things off. So you arrive in second position, Mr. Webb in first, and then El Nicole Di Fini, Fini? Yep. Tia Musant in five position. No, I think it was Costa f in front of me. He must have left the server yeah, already. So, and then Andre G2 Milti. G2 Milti is around my pace. I've, I've seen him around uh, mm -hmm. the track. Away. And f Freak uh, Orel. I think, I don't I don't think Orel must manage to. Uh, to go back up, unfortunately. No, I've from by the look of this, maybe he didn't fancy it. Oof. Maybe uh, we'll find out from him in uh, in Discord later. Yeah, absolutely. But do it, I even bother? In fact, I think he did carry on. He's, uh, yeah, I thought he did or else finish because yeah. he, he wound up forty seconds behind in the end. So. Good job, Orel, for carrying on despite the difficult start you had, uh, starting from the pit lane. Oh, Hold nice. on, I'm gonna not a quitter. I like that. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't type. I like that. Awesome stuff. Orel. There you go. That was four. Good evening, people. Shaheen Schofield. Hello, hello. Um, that was the four races for. The incredible Mooney GT who's organized um, a full day of streaming for himself to raise money in support of the pediatric cancer research. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. Um, and he's invited us to four of the races, so I thought that was our chance for me and um, Dan to, to just stream the event and try and spread as much love as we can to help him. So I hope you guys have... Um, Donated uh, a small, a big donation, whatever you could, because that's a that's something that that is really important that we need that we all need to think about. It's actually sad to think that um, when I have kids, um, it, when I have kids eventually, um, if my kids have um, any issue, I would like as many research to be available so that I can treat my kids. So, um, so yeah, it's always good to be. We wary? No, that's not the world. It's always good to be aware of what's going on in the world and uh, make sure you support positive causes like this. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't echo those words, but uh, better tell you. So a, a, a big thanks to um, to Mooney GT for hosting these uh, events today for us to to take part in, and obviously, you know, to try and help uh, spread the awareness of. Um, of pediatric cancer and um, particularly for, for, for those that affect young kids um, all over the world. So it's been a it's been a great honor to take part in these um, community events to help uh, for such a great cause. And I'd say big big thanks again to Mooney and also to um, to Taya as well because she put my name forward for um, taking part in this as well. So a big a big uh, kudos and thanks to the both of you and. Um, it's fantastic to see that uh, 
so much money has been raised already for such a brilliant course. So I wish Mooney GT the very best of luck for uh, the rest of his live stream and hope that he can help raise even more funds for such a brilliant course. So a big thanks uh, to Mooney GT for this one. Really, um, really enjoyed this evening. And uh, I'll bet you have as well, Taya, despite how um, how serious it got at times. I mean, it, I mean some of the races <laughs> no. didn't go particularly well for you, did it, unfortunately. But No, definitely. Uh, Brands Hatch... Brent's Hatch and the last one for me were somehow the most enjoyable, even though that was the two that I did. Uh, well, no, I, I guess I did practice. Um, mm -hmm. I, I was hope, I was expecting to be not as fast on on Spa, so I was quite surprised and I really enjoyed it. Um, mm -hmm. Laguna Seca, unfortunately, it's one of my fave track. I don't normally have any crashes there, but I had a lot of uh, of uh, of incident. Let's just say. Uh, one mm -hmm. technically I could have avoided. I went into a car. It uh, it didn't look stationary, but it was stationary. So, yeah. Oh so yeah. I went straight into her butt. But that's uh, that happens. Can't believe Spa was Tia's fave. Uh, no, no, it's not my fave. Actually, but you can ask Dan. I was being really slow earlier in practice. I was I I couldn't go. What was it? I did one thirty six. One thirty six was my best time. And here I was doing one thirty five point zero, which is awesome. Yeah. She 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 definitely made big progress in um in that last race we did. So she was particularly around some of the corners, particularly Blanc Chimon, because in a, a GT4 car it reacts very differently going through certain corners compared to a GT3. So it took a little bit of um a little bit of time for Taya to adapt around those tracks. But I was really glad and pleased to see in the end that she finally was able to crack it and did so brilliantly in that last event. So it's a sign um tell you, tell you that you can definitely you know go into these events with an open mind and not think negatively about oh i'm not going to do very well because of so and so and, and and you know because things didn't go well in practice because you could amaze yourself tell you, you could actually do very well in um in the actual events itself and i hope that you know what you did around spa was just a, an example of, um you know what you can do in um in these events and uh, amaze yourself as well so yeah, I think around this evening, teammate. Uh, you know, I think it's a it's a little bit of a, a, a state of mind to have because when I go into a race and I want to be on top ten, for example, I tend to become too serious and I don't enjoy it as much. And sometimes I don't drive as much uh, because I, I just put myself into some sort of state of mind where yeah, it's not good. And spa, mm -hmm. I approach it in a different way because I I thought I was gonna be rubbish. So I I guess since in that way it was. It was actually positive because I didn't think I was going to be doing that good. So I went into it, in, into there a bit more relaxed, like I wasn't going to be top 10. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it does make perfect sense indeed. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. Also, just one last... Sorry, one last thing as well. I forgot to mention. A big kudos and thanks to some of the guys from um, the Teo Moussant Discord community who had taken part in um, these fun events this evening as well. We have to give kudos and credit to them as well. We, can't, we definitely can't leave them out. So people like uh, Slanken, Aurel, Arud, Chili yep. Dog, uh, who else had taken part? Uh, Andre as well. So thanks very much, guys, for taking the time to take part in the in the racing with us this evening. It's, I mean, it, 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 it was brilliant anyway, just the fact that myself and Taylor, this has been yet another experience that we've shared um, together along with the uh 12 hour enduro that we did a few months uh, a few months ago I can't believe it's been nearly three months already Taya, since we did that uh, event absolutely astonishing but it's been um it's been awesome as well that some of you guys from the community had um decided to join in and uh help help us with such a worthy cause and event as well so thank you very much uh everyone for um for joining us and for making it a great evening all round Andre is saying top 10, top 5, top 3, alien, step by step, emotional for sure. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's, it's been great. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. Thanks, Erud, for uh, the debombing. I'm certainly going to have revenge on you soon. Uh, and then thanks, Andre, for, as, as always, um, turning up for the races and um, showing me nicely, nice spin. I saw, I saw, I saw a little spin um, at KLM, yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, and then who else was there? Every, every dev already mentioned Chili Dog for um, stealing my uh, my third place, then and making it to the second position at Brands Hatch. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for coming. That's, 
that's going to take some time for you to get over, is it, isn't it, Taylor? The fact that he stole your third place. <laughs> oh, and thanks to Aurel for being absolutely awesome. I don't know how Aurel has, has recently had an increase in pace on pretty much every track. Do you prefer GT4 racing, Aurel? Or GT3? Yeah, but I, 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 have to, I have to say a big congrats to Aurel as well for, you know, the job that he did this evening and the fact that he's also um not only picked up pace recently and got quicker in um in acc but just the fact that he's decided to offer some of his time as well uh free time to be able to help um people in the community around some of the tracks that we race at so definite kudos to you all um Aurel, and um and keep up the great progress and good work my friends you're doing absolutely brilliantly um, so just two things. So Aurel said, I'm not starting from the pits ever again at Spa. I will well to agree with you at that because me, and, <laughs> we had to restart a few times earlier on practice and because of Dan, of course, not because of me. And, um, uh, and it was, <laughs> it was, it was so long. So that's why I show my uh, technique. You might want to use my technique. All you need to do is put the limiter on and the pit limiter off, off, on, on, off. And you will see, you will go a lot faster out. Try it. Uh -huh. And then we've got Erid saying, I was, hot at, I was hot at Kayalami. That track makes me so hot. Well, I don't know. Which track make you the hottest, uh, Dan? Is there a track specifically that you drive in when you're like two laps into it already you're sweating? Well, technically, isn't that every race we take part in? You no. put a lot of physical energy in. I, but... I don't think I was as sweaty at Spa for some reason. Spa doesn't make me that sweaty. Um, I yeah. agree, though. Kayalami makes me really sweaty because when we did the community race on Friday, I was mm. so sweaty. Jeff walked into the room with the uh, air conditioning unit. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that. For some reason, Kayalami makes me really sweaty. Uh, I'd, I'd say for me, um, just because of the fact that it's such a short track and you have a lot of corners within it, um, the ones we've competed around the scene, I'd say Brands Hatch um, is one that can True. make you sweat a lot because of the fact that because of the nature of the corners as well, particularly like Paddock Hill Bend, but it's sort sort of off camber and then goes downhill. So you have to that keeps you, definitely keeps you on your toes for sure. And um just the fact that there's got so many corners within it. So there's not much time to rest and stop. It's literally a bit like a, a smaller version of the Hungara ring, where it's one after another, after another, after another. So no chance to <laughs> no chance to rest, unfortunately, around Brandsatch. So that one is definitely uh, hard work physically. Yeah, and, um, I agree. Good job, Chili Dog, as well. He's just mentioned that he got two second places in the events uh, this evening. So great job as well to you, Chili Dog, for, for doing so well, my friend. Cool. Awesome. And then uh, Freaky, depends on the track. I like GT4 better on small track, but I think uh, the racing in GT3 is way more exciting. I completely agree with you on that. And I was talking about it with Dan earlier, and he agrees too. But GT4 is yeah, still great. Absolutely. Always produces great racing. Yeah, close racing, I guess. But you still get close racing in GT3 if you have the pace of uh, of uh, a few people in on the track. I found that for for a while I was in mid like mid track and I wouldn't see many people for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but now I, I I can keep up. GT not represented yet. No, true. Maybe soon. Have a little word with Kunos. I like both GT3 and GT4. And Chile mm -hmm. loves Laguna and Brands. Yeah, Chile Chile has favorite track. He does have favorite track. Did he not come for Spa? I don't think he did, did he? No, I don't think Chile raced at Spa. I could be wrong. But no. You'll have to correct us on that one, Chile Dog. But I know you raced in a lot of... Um, if, uh, uh, competed in a lot of events this evening, so... Uh, brands need it's put brands needs a special type type of braking in my humble opinion it's a wonderful circuit yeah definitely um because a, a lot of braking techniques you definitely need to master around brands hatch including trail braking for some of the um corners particularly the first turn pad kill ben that's that's not easy to get right but if you apply the brakes in the right way and approach it correctly that one that corner in particular is very rewarding to get right around brands hatch for sure um but what would you say of of all the circuits we've competed at, Taya? What would you, what would you say has been the most challenging? Um, particularly, which do you think has been has, features the most difficult corners um, to race around? <laughs> I think for me it was on Hungaroring, but not. Do you mean tonight or do you mean in, in tonight? Gen yeah, I meant the tonight. Yeah, the ones we oh. competed at this evening. Yeah, tonight. Um, <laughs> I don't think 
I don't know because I really like all of them. I, I think they are very, uh, very challenging in their own way. Uh, Brent, mm -hmm. Brent's hatch is very short but very snappy, like you said. So um, uh, if you get if you get one corner wrong, you just end up in the grass, and that's not good. Um, no. Laguna, you mm -hmm. have to be very careful because it's sandy. Um, I don't know. They they all they all really. I think for me the the tra the trickiest to learn with you was definitely Spa because it was the the only track that I didn't do mm -hmm. in in a GT4 car. But um, yeah. but yeah, I I don't know. I enjoyed them all, so I can't really say what what was tricky. No. Not taking another enduro anytime this year or maybe early next year. Yes, we we're thinking about taking another enduro. I just haven't. Mm -hmm. uh, there was an event uh, which was in October, but uh, I think it's coming a bit too close now for me to do it. And also, it was Bathurst. So yeah, so it's going to be in a short space of time. It would have been difficult for us to um to prepare for um for Bathurst, definitely. But it's a shame to be honest because I mean it's one event that 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 we haven't ticked off on our box yet. Um, it's such a great track, and, and it's a take and take a very long time to actually love it because of the challenges you faced to begin with when you first competed there. You know, you, ha you hated the top section in particular with the, you know, the, we're very narrow and the walls being so close, but we eventually persuaded her. She actually loves driving around Bathurst now, don't you? Um, around the circuit. Yeah, O'Reilly saying G uh, Spa is, is less friendly to GT4 car compared to uh, the fast flat corner in GT3. I agree. Yeah. It, it is, but... But um, I did. I didn't think it was a great track for GT4 earlier when I was practicing, and then I um, I, I really enjoyed the race. So I, I don't know. We won a 24-hour race. Jeff said, "Wow, Jeff is raising $4,650 race." Thank you, Erud. I was just about to ask com someone to say mm -hmm. that's absolutely incredible. Thank you, yeah, thank you, everyone, brilliant. for the donation. If you if you've mm -hmm. gone and 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 donated. And if you've said hello and if you supported just coming in the chat is absolutely bloody awesome. So you're all incredible. Uh, Kayo Costa, don't worry about having costing me some time. Great fight. And beautiful color in the Aston Martin. I just loved um, following you around. It was fine. Uh, and then what else? Jerry, Brands Hatch, old school. Punish is very small mistake. Yeah, it's an old school. Uh, uh, do you know what? Um, since I've been there, Dan, I see the track differently because i've seen yeah. the elevation for example i didn't realize how elevated t1 and t2 were yeah it's surprising isn't it how um how, how they vary in terms of elevation very steep <laughs> yeah yeah oh uh or I'll, don't worry i'll give you more opportunity to start alongside someone on in gt4 at spa mm -hmm. uh well i mean jeff is part of the united racing so Jeff will definitely be. Mm -hmm. Would you, we need to see. We need to see. Um, well, Dan, obviously, if you see a race, um, an, an event, you know you can tell me. We are United Racing, so we will um, We will yeah, both look and see. Yeah. I'm sure if I, I spot something, I'll definitely uh, notify you guys of um, any potential events that uh, that will come up for us. So another great opportunity to look forward to. So there's, there's, there's lots in the future for us to... Um, to look forward to Taya, that's for sure, at uh, United Racing. I take that back. Jeff Jeff just said uh, to Aurel that uh, he said, no, actually, Andre said, who wants a 24-hour race? And he said, me and Tony. So I guess um, he'll be running his first Tony Putin. <laughs> well, anyway. That'll be interesting when it comes to the driver swaps for, 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 for yourself and Tony. <laughs> I'll film that. I'll make sure I uh, show you. Is Tony paying for it? Uh, we we have to teach Tony how to use the wheel first. Although I have a few pictures of Tony on my. I don't know if you've done that to Molly, trying to put her little paw on um on the wheel. No, no, she she hasn't done that. Um, as our Molly, she's just been more interested in falling asleep in the chair <laughs> than the sim rig itself. But um, no, she, she's she's not really into what I've um into what I'm doing. She's just more interested in vying for my attention instead, all just falling asleep in the chair. Oh, Well, he sounds like cat. a really cute little cat. Mm -hmm. I wish I wish Tony sometimes was a bit more calm. But anyway, thanks, Dan, for, um, for joining me tonight for such a good cause. Um, and thanks for spreading the love. And thanks for, you know, teaching me uh, this afternoon. Thanks for... Yeah. 
Thanks for everything, and thanks to all the viewers, thanks for all your donations, you guys have been fantastic. That first is fantastic in real life, but yeah, I would really love to go there, I think it's really, it would mm -hmm. be nice and hold. Molly is old enough to drive. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take one. And, and yeah, thanks, thanks for being so awesome, um, I will be posting uh, on my side uh, what, what my stream schedule will be next week. What are you doing next week, Dan? What am I doing next week? Well, I, I, I plan on doing a couple of live streams, of course. Uh, the one that I really enjoy doing most is, um, is the GT3 racing, where I get my viewers to uh, select which GT3 car I drive uh, in a couple of races before I then take part in your community event um, near the end. So that's one planned live stream. And then I've got another episode in my WEC series coming up so we'll be trying around the Mugello circuit so that's going to be another one, a good one for R Factor 2. Andre if you're listening I know how, uh, you're a fellow <laughs> supporter listening. of R Factor 2 <laughs> got to share the love for R Factor 2 no no hiding from it Jeff <clears throat> um, and yeah it's, it's going I've got another a uh, couple of streams planned on the side as well but yeah it's going to be a, another an exciting and interesting week um content creating that's for sure but um with regarding this evening i do thank you a lot uh taya for in, for putting my name forward for doing this event with mooney gt and it's been a, an absolute pleasure to share this with you you know the, the racing that we've been doing and the banter as well <laughs> it was it was nice, yeah. and um yeah this is there's this, this not many events that we get to share uh, collectively, and th this has been another brilliant one with you, Taya. So th thank you for you know giving me this opportunity to do this with you and to help um, spread the word for such a good, worthy cause. So you know, all kudos and credit to you, Taya, for for this evening. So thank you for that. Really do appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks to Mooney GTF. I thought that was absolutely that was great. That was uh, I I love to do things like that. So any any charity stream, if I have time to do it, I will definitely do it. And uh, I happen mm -hmm. to be able to do that one. So thanks everyone who's still awake. Jeff said thanks everyone, and uh, don't forget the same cafe is on tomorrow morning, and I'll be in the chat. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll be cooking. I'll see. I'll see what I'll do. But I'll probably be in the chat. So uh, thanks so much, Dan. And uh, I'll speak to you super duper soon. Yeah. Also, no worries, Taya. Thank you very much for this evening. Have a great evening. Bye bye. You too. Bye. Take care. <laughs> that was Taya and Dan, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thanks everyone again. I know I said it a lot, but uh, it's always great to have you all coming and supporting the causes, especially on a Saturday night where you should really be out drinking or um, if you can go out drinking because uh, technically we, we have lots of different uh, rules now where we have to only see a, a certain amount of people. So staying safe, obviously, but um, yeah, you should be partying or, or maybe drinking. I don't know, maybe watching a, a nice film. So thanks for tuning in when... Uh, that, that makes us feel like we we must be doing something right because you managed to to click on the stream um so yeah thank you for that and i see you all tomorrow guys uh well we'll see you tomorrow ah we'll see i definitely see you in the same cafe chat it's gonna be a blast so make sure you turn up bye guys